Uh, okay, we got a Berserk Rage on Slinging Slasher. Where did that even come from? He's fighting a, just a cat and lost. Wow. Officers. Welcome back to the uh, Pastafarian colony. Today we are uh, kind of cleaning up a lot of the mess that we made the last time. Uh, for example, Slinging Slasher is one of our most, like, unstable colonists who has just fought a cat and lost. That doesn't really give me a lot of confidence in the colony because Slinging Slasher had a mace and level 8 with a double burning passion in melee. Might just want Slinging Slasher to die here. Not, see, no one even really cares for Slinging Slasher, unfortunately, but... Um, enough good things have happened that I'm pretty confident in this colony that I don't think that we will intentionally, uh, get ourselves killed by cats who have nothing to do with us. So I think that that's just an aberration that I'm going to attribute to general stupidity. Uh, was any of the skin- unfortunately was horribly cut by this cat. Was anything- was like an eye gouged out by the cat? No, fortunately we are okay, but is going to die in four hours because of the fighting of the cat. My god. All the random stuff that can happen in this game is just amazing. So, uh, the colony itself, I've had a little bit more faith in than my actual colonists themselves. They are not good. The only two that really have become overpowered are Pesto and Chef Boyardee, who have decided that they're going to get married. Uh, I did a little bit of cleanup in the colony, so there's a little bit of time between this uh, video and the last one. And Dan has gone catatonic. Why is Dan suddenly catatonic? No one really knows. Oh, it's because he's absolutely beside himself. But this is okay because he's. Tr we're trying to convert him from his uh, ideology, and we hope that he snaps and breaks. That's actually fine. Dan will be okay. Don't worry about it. Uh, really, these two colonists are the only one I need, but these two are just a general liability. Slinging Slasher will be better. Um, the good news is this. We're on the brink of a breakthrough right here because... Sling uh, who is it? Pesto, who is one of our few really good colonists, is, uh, uh, is an ocean lover. Uh, oh, I don't like body purists. That might not be good in the long run. Well, is about to reach shooting level 6. And when, uh, when he finally does reach shooting level 6, we can make him into the... Uh, Foul-mouthed smuggler, which is one of our most esteemed roles in the colony as a uh, as a nautical pastafarian. Um, so hopefully, once we get that, they'll be less upset about not having so many of these positions. We have no recent conquests, so we might have to go attack someone else. We ra have to raid someone. Uh, but yeah, you know, just so many roles that we have to fill. So many other uh, bits and pieces with ideology. Again, a lot of things in ideology, if your colony isn't, like, perfectly balanced, um, it's going to be in shambles. And uh, we've kind of been feeling that pain for the first uh, year or so of the colony. I would say, or we will be. I expect it. But over time, it's kind of like survival of the fittest. Only the best colonists will pull through. Are you going to survive, Slinging Slasher? Okay, you're fine. Just kind of a testament to how good Pesto is. So I really want to take Pesto off of shooting after this. Um, but yeah, the raid we should do. Maybe we could just send out somebody like Dan, who's just a general... Really just not a happy person because his lover died. Uh, yeah, we made some mistakes, but I don't know, I, w I wouldn't take any of them back, personally. I enjoyed all of them. I, I, I thought it was worth it for the laughs. Tysker, thanks very much for gifting this up. Um... So I guess just like last time to quickly recap, we, we set out the entire bases area and parameters and stuff. And I think we did a pretty good job at that. The Raider Raiders are raiding us. Uh, okay. <laughs> Only in RimWorld, folks. Uh, I always forget to read whether that's an immediate raid. I just dismiss everything. Um, Chef Boyardee is finishing off the wall. That's good. We do have more spike traps ready. Uh, looks like they are waiting though, so that's good. Pesto is coming back, and I think the wall will actually be done before they get in, so no, wow, I didn't even intend for that, but we've created a really good causeway for these people to come in by, and this will hopefully be one of the last times where Pesto can train his shooting. Um, honestly, if I have two colonists, I can run a colony, I like to think. These two people are more of a drag on the colony than anything else right now, and they can actually take away from your main colonist productivity, so I'm not too happy about that. Uh, but. It, it, it is what it is. 
Um, one thing we could do for a quick, easy payoff here, I guess we'll do it after this raid, because I think it would be kind of last minute if we tried to do it right now. Um, we've got a tattered apparel thing. While I'm doing this raid, I'm just going to go ahead and manage their outfits. Uh, they're all wearing the anything outfit, so I'm going to go ahead and just say, make sure that it's... 51 to 100 hit points. A really easy way to never get the tattered apparel debuff. That way they'll just kind of automate their own clothing usage. Uh, don't do that. Why don't you... Is our wall done? Okay, let's have Chef Boy RD go ahead and finish off the power conduits here. You stick close to home and just shoot... Is there an animal for you to shoot? Oh, I also, in my own defense, an alligator got itself killed on those uh, insects the last time. Very upsetting to know that, like... You know, even an alligator would have died to the thing that killed me, so... I mean, alligators are some of the most powerful animals. Think about it. So, okay, there we are. That turret is operational, but it's not in range, so I don't think it's really going to do anything. It's also using up a lot of power, so... Uh, we've got... Uh, we're still power positive, though, so we'll be fine. All right, now we just wait for these raiders to come in. Otherwise, we've got all of our buildings. You know, we've got an infirmary. We've, we're working on a kill box. We've got our fields set up. Uh, these are almost ready to harvest. We've got our fridge ready. Uh, we got in a second cooler in it, and we have everything frozen. We have our rec room. We have our storage. We're getting bedrooms over time. We've got a, like a marriage bedroom sort of too. Our workshop, our ritual room. Yeah, they're not really great rooms, but at least they're separated, and at least, you know, we can kind of just... Let them automatically go to work now. Um, uh, KJ, thank you very much for the sub. Will I ever do Twitch controls room world where people can spawn things in? Generally speaking, the reason I don't use Twitch toolkit more often in the uh, in kind of the longer play streams is because it can be kind of random. I usually like to isolate it for one stream where I just say like, okay, everybody go wild, and we spawn in thousands and thousands of things. Um, I'm not against it. If I could find a, a settings set that would let me make the playthrough feel more like voting. Like, sometimes we would do voting. Rimworld with viewer voting can be very fun. Actually, the more I talk about it, the more I realize it, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, I would totally do it. Um, okay, you get back. Uh, let's keep this door open for a second, because I want Pesto to get this shooting experience with some actual raiders. Hopefully Pesto won't get shot. I'm wondering if it's even worth it, though. Like, what is this guy's shooting skill? He's at shooting level 2. Pesto's at shooting level 5. And what do you have? This guy has a bolt-action rifle. Okay, it's a little bit iffy. Taking kind of a chance here. But honestly, like, a long, inaccurate firefight is okay because it's more shooting experience for Pesto. Good. Pesto actually just got in a hit. And the turret is shooting Fleeb over there. Fleeb probably won't beat a turret. Uh, I stand corrected. Fleeb is about to destroy our turret. Are you kidding me? He destroyed that entire thing. Wowzers. Okay, uh... That was kind of unfortunate. But hey, look, Pesto's got only like a thousand more experience to get before. Oh, and actually, Pesto's learning is maxed out. So I'm just going to retreat Pesto here because it's not really worth this fight. Um, but I do have to close this door before I go. I want them to just wander into the spike traps and hopefully walk away when one guy goes down. Okay, so that door should close and good. Okay, you just kind of like stand drafted here just in case. And these guys should come unless if they decide to set something on fire or God knows what. Yeah, it does. It kind of looks like Pesto's got on a sombrero. It looks like a Mexican standoff, but uh... Mm. Oh, wowzers. Jesus Christ. Uh, that's bad. That's bad. Okay, good. Uh, we get that guy down. This guy was quite valuable to have gotten down because he had steel plate armor on. Let's go ahead and just strip. And who is Elec? Is Elec any good? We are looking for colonists, but... Absent-minded man. <laughs> you don't really want an absent-minded surgeon. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, God. Uh, Janana Forever, thanks very much for the sub. Another mind adrift, even in the middle of working. I do not know that trait, but does have a single passion in construction, which we need. Also good with social, which could be valuable in this colony, but is also an enemy of us. 
I'm gonna go ahead and strip. I mean, Dan is down and Slinging Slasher is in bed. I just don't think we're really ready to take on another person as a liability right now. Fleeb is also meleeing stuff. That's no good because we did leave parts of our base outside. How is Fleeb? Fleeb has a, what is this thing? Is a much better shot than us and has a hand cannon. Ugh, I don't really love that, but I guess while Fleeb is in the river, we could keep on shooting Fleeb. Because he's probably going to be at a major disadvantage there. All right, Fleeb has decided to kind of come over here. So we could just kind of... We'll have much uh, better cover against Fleeb from out here. So let's just stand in here and... Come on, shoot. Oh, why are you not shooting? I guess you shoot over there. What is Fleeb's... Fleeb has similar range, but is for some reason going across the... Okay, this is a great spot to shoot from. And Pesto just made shooting level 6, so now we can finally upgrade Pesto. Let's just get this done with. I need somebody who can at least sort of defend our colony. I don't want you to die, though. I really don't want you to die, and you have much better speed in shooting than me. Alright, that rifle is of normal quality. What is mine of? Hunting rifle, 90... Which one is better? Kind of hard to tell. Worth 290. I'm just going to go by worth as the general. Worth 255. Okay, so I'm probably fine with the thing that's in my hands. I'm not going to go too deep into stats. Mm. Absent minded. You now have a dandelion instead of a spleen. Yeah, right. I think we're just going to kind of game this guy's AI. It's like whenever he, we get away from He's happy. Why is he happy? He's go He's being shot and he's walking through a river. Not the ideal circumstance. The, the truth is that we don't have to kill him, though. He's going to die in eight hours now. Now he's bleeding out. We just kind of want to prevent him from destroying more of our stuff. Again, we've got on the skulls such that he is at... Uh, good. There we go. Uh, what kind of armor does he have? And he has on chitin plate armor. So, I mean, he did have a decent hand cannon. We'll take that. Let's strip him and grab his stuff. And is that in the water? Nah, we're fine. All right, well, Pesto is finally ready to be upgraded. If we go into the social tab, we can make Pesto into the foul-mouthed smuggler, which unfortunately means that Pesto can't do quite a lot of stuff. But what can Pesto still do? Pesto can still be artistic and medical, right? Hmm. I know the data turret aid, placing a turret between walls. Uh, I'm playing... Huh, interesting. I've never seen, uh... No, I mean, it, we could go about constructing a bigger kill box, but right now, the, the truth is that I'm just not really very well equipped to go about it. Um... This might not be that bad. I did like having Pesto constructing, but I don't like the... Whatever it is, the minus... Where is the conquest? I don't like the minus 10 mood debuff on everybody. That's no good. Um... I'm gonna go ahead and just do it. Because I don't think anybody better is going to come along. And anybody else, we can just have kind of replace Pesto's current tasks. What more is Pesto really doing? It's okay at everything, but, you know, the, the main passions are here. Let's go ahead and just do that. Foulmouth Smuggler. And begin. We'll do that right away. Come on, Slinging Slasher, get out of bed. Stop being lazy. And all this is just a simple uh, position conversion. It's not like a real conversion ritual, but... Uh, you know, they're just appointing Pesto to be the foul mouth smuggler. So this should give everybody an hour. Ah, uh, there we go. Um, nautical Pastafarian constructions, that's fine. Unsightly environment. Okay, so now all they really need is just a, a conquest. They need to attack somebody because they're pirates and they like to do that. You have 4,130 hours in Rimworld? I think I'm at like... I'm still actually under 700. I, I thought it was 700. Who died? Everyone here that, like, children celebrating, that always means that somebody died. Good, yes, have that, that's fine. Uh, oh, I didn't even realize that we got a smoke leaf joint from that. That's quite good. I'm fine if they have smoke leaf joints. No, that cat is back. Oh, God. <laughs> the, ca the cat just took Slinging Slasher into bed. <laughs> that's so amazing. Hmm, where are we now? We've had, like, weird wall issues here. I don't know why they didn't... Why didn't they... Oh, they are building some of these in the wall. 
Man, I feel like such an amateur right now. They like wouldn't build them and then they did. I have no idea what's going on, but now we just have all these multiples and it's not that great, but okay, this is important because we are going to be doing a lot of construction in here and you want light levels in there just because otherwise they'll they'll work really slow on the constructions. These are going to be of limestone because we don't really have any marble around here, so we can't make anything much prettier. Hey, that cat is back and eating the food. There's enough going on. All right, so catatonic breakdown. How long is it before you're better from that? Uh, you'll be better. Slinging slasher is getting better. Uh, no recent conquest, but ugly environment, but you know, is cathartic. So it should be fine in no time. <laughs> oh God. Uh, I gotta make sure that everybody is getting medicine on them though. Uh, quickly from this medicine tab. Yeah, herbal medicine is fine. Do we have any glitter? We do have normal medicine and glitter world, but I wanna save that for real operations. It will speed up the recovery from this, but at the same time, anytime you find regular and glitter world medicine, you just don't want to get rid of it. Oh, here's a guy. What happened to him? Again, not really ready to bring anyone in. Um, we can take you off of hunting from now on though. So let's go ahead and just go to wildlife. Yeah, no more shooting because now we can just focus on stuff at home. All right, I'm saying that Pesto can now focus on things like making artwork because artwork is actually quite overpowered. It brings up the mood of all of your colonists pretty much everywhere all the time. Uh, terror sculpture, that's kind of interesting. Oh. Does that like make the area? I've not actually tried one of those yet. What is this from? This is from Ideology. Oh, so this is a vanilla thing. We have a poop deck that we could make. It's like a stream deck by Elgato, but not a stream deck by Elgato. Uh, we'll start off with some large sculptures because it's helpful. We can make it out of anything, I think, except for steel. The only thing that I like to not make it out of is steel because I just there's a limited amount of it and you need other stuff for it. Uh, oh, they suppress revolts. Interesting. I haven't even used them. Catatonic breaks last between 27 and 83 minutes. Like IRL. So he might be down for a while. But the truth is this, that no matter what's wrong with our colony, Chef Boyardee and Pesto will be really well off because of their uh, because of their relationship as it stands right now. We've also got Slinging Slasher appointed as the uh, Flying Spaghetti Swashbuckler apparel. And we do need a veil for that. So we're going to go ahead and build a, uh, build a veil. <laughs> we'll make a veil. Hmm. Veil, 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 veil. Too bad it can't just be alphabetized. Makes me want to get in that, uh, whatchamacallit mod. Tabard Vest Veil, 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 there it is. Okay, we'll just bring that up. Oh, a Veil shouldn't be too hard to make. Yeah, we'll just make one of those. Uh, and who is our best crafter? I do believe that we have someone who's a decent crafter. Dan, though he's also suffering from a catatonic breakdown. Okay, Chef Boyardee with your horrible craft. Our Sling Slasher, can you make one? Not assigned to tailoring. Okay, I'm going to assign you to tailoring. Where is Slinging Slasher? You do some tailoring, but I don't really want you to do it very often. And tailor. Yeah. Just so that we can kind of get the mood up. We need that We need that happening so that our colonists are not so, uh, so very upset. There we go. Relatively little work. And... Yeah, wear that veil. Okay, good. Um, are you as upset as you were five minutes ago? No recent conquest. Okay, so the only mood debuff that's upsetting everyone in the colony right now is just the recent conquest. Uh, they also aren't too happy about the corpse on the ground, so let's go ahead and just, um, uh, we'll also allow fresh human corpses there. Yes, have that. That's fine. Okay, now haul that body over because that's upsetting everyone. All right, so recent conquest. I need to look a little bit more into this one just to see, like, what does that exactly mean? Because I haven't really played too many of these raider factions. Too long since we raided everyone. They might stop fearing and respecting us. Ah, interesting. So we're going to need to find somebody to not like all the time. Hmm. Cargo pods. Oh, we do have cargo pods landed. Tomahawk, a uranium tomahawk. I'll allow them, but it's not really a major, uh, not really a major worry. Oh, Alex is dead. Crap. <laughs> I've just been, I've made the worst habit of ignoring. Uh, 
I have ignored a lot of events because I wasn't getting them at the beginning, but now I've just lost quite a lot of important people. Uh, another eclipse. Let's go do that raid, though, because I think that's important. To be honest with you, it's kind of like an overload to my RAM. There's just a lot of stuff happening with this colony. Ideology doubles the number of things that, like, moving pieces. Ideology really isn't a very good expansion for new players to the game. It's good for people who have everything under control. Um and are looking for more needs to fulfill. But I find that it can often just hold you back. Uh, where are we here? I don't actually need that anymore. So let's just do like a token raid somewhere, just so that they can say that they did it, you know? Uh, hunting worksite. Contains light leather hunting worksite with two people at it. Gold mining worksite. I wonder if these are actually considered raids. Faction, the raider. Okay, well, we don't like the raider raiders to begin with, so maybe this is going to be the faction that we attack. Even if it doesn't really go well, if we just send somebody in to fight them, maybe they'll be happier about that or something. Good, you're spending time on art. And then we'll get Dan out of bed and convert him to our religion. <laughs> get out of bed, Dan. Stop being lazy. Convert. Uh, Jesus. Man, that cat really messed you up. It's okay, you can't walk. You won't be upset for a long time. Slept in the cold. Well, you're going to have to just live with that. You're just going to have to live with it. Uh. Man, it kind of reminds me of when I originally played RimWorld. I made every single mistake. Now I, st I still make those mistakes, but I, I can, like, live with them. I could just get on with my life, like, oh, here's how I fix that, but... Yeah. I don't know, maybe it's as a result of talking over it. Yeah, we do need to get some, uh, some actual smoke leaf going. Well, we have psychoid, tons of psychoid growing out of the ground. Smoke leaf, though, might be a good one to do because it's just such a fast payoff. I don't know, maybe I was a bit arrogant the last time when I said don't have to, that we won't have to grow a smoke leaf. You know, let's get one small grow zone out here. Where is this soil uh, fertile? Maybe we'll just put smoke leaf in a small, small patch here over the most fertile soil. That way. There we go. Okay, so we just do smoke leaf there. Mint. Man, there's so many other options here. Hang on a second. Something is on fire. There we go. Eh, it'll put itself out, that's fine. Solar flare, uh, not a real worry. This meat might spoil, though. No, we lost the meats! We lost the meats! I mean, smoke leaf, smoke leaf is very good for beginners because it's like a fast payoff, and it's quite obvious what you should do with it. We've got malaria. Slinging slasher and chef waiter. Okay, so then this pretty much means that no one can do anything. Uh, I don't like any of that. Ugh. Man, that's a real pain. But at least we'll get through it somehow. Okay, you take care of them. Now this, I, I gotta say, like, sickness is one of my least favorite things to go through with RimWorld because if you don't get to it fast enough, they're just gonna die. It usually kills off new colonies. But isn't one of these guys super immune or something? And a mad gorilla as well. That, come on. Why are you adding so many things to my plate? This isn't even that great a colony either. <laughs> you feel that? Like this colony? It wasn't doing so well to begin with. The one issue is that the storyteller just sees the number of colonists that you have and says, Okay, I will send events based on whatever is X number of colonists. Good, yeah, have a smoke leaf joint. That's fine with me. The gorilla is coming. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay, can we bring down the gorilla? I gotta get to somewhere safe. Turn on your firing frenzy. Okay, we are not going to be safe from this gorilla. Uh, I am scared. I am scared because the gorilla is attacking twice as fast as it usually does. Go away, gorilla. Just live your life. Live your life out there somewhere. I think if we have two entrances between us and the gorilla, it's fine. Don't worry about Harambe. Just live your life. Okay, you get out there. Maybe eat something. So if I go in here, is it going to attack the door? 
Nope. Okay, the gorilla is maybe is coming down. No, nope, don't go there, Pesto. That's a bad idea. All right, we've got to get all hands on deck. Hang on. Uh. Why do I just have the worst luck with everything? Wait, no, I, I object to this. This is not allowed. We had a solar flare, an eclipse, and a gorilla attack, and malaria all at once. Yeah, the gorilla just needs to go to sleep. You're right. Ah, oh, man. All right, let's get you out here. If we could coordinate our gorilla attack and ha play like monkey in the middle with this gorilla, I think we could survive. Okay, you go over there. You get into the aura. And then we just shoot this goddamn ape. There we go. And look, it's, it's like swaggering over the plants. G yes, get that. Get that animal. Come on, good, good job. Good job, take it down, take him down. Oh, man, that really had me worried there for a couple of minutes. Guys, I'm not supposed to get malaria, gorillas, and all of that to get, it's too, it's too much for one man. It's too much for one man. Okay, you'll be, you'll be fine. I, I do a good job with taking care of diseased pesto. Do you took good care of slinging slashers, so slinging slash. All right, Sling Slasher's immunity is going up faster, it appears, than the, uh, yeah, by a little bit. Good, by a good amount than that. Even though the room isn't that great. Oh, man, we've really weathered a lot. Panoxicillin has to be a priority in swamps and rainforests. Yeah, I mean, to add on to all of the other challenges we were doing this time, difficult terrain. Uh, swamp and rainforest is pretty bad for dying of disease, so... That's true, that's true. Okay, good, Dan can walk, and he's now absolutely miserable. He's malnourished as well. Come on, go ahead and eat a food. Over there, Dan. Well, the good news is that that got him through being upset about his lover, and then he's going to go ahead and have a tantrum. Ah, uh, man. Some of these guys we might just be better off without. I, I hate to say it. Right now we are, but otherwise I like this colonist, so I don't want to do that. And his melee speed is doubled because of the... Yep. Good job, Dan. That means that you'll cause twice as much destruction and all of the lights are going out because... Yeah, you're allowed to do that. Just please don't break anything expensive. Oh, I, I kind of like that. Why would you destroy that? Okay, interesting. Oh, you've destroyed the door to the infirmary. Okay, that was uh, also so nice of you. Actually, Tantrum is not that bad because I like to prioritize anything that gets the colony back up and running before too long. Until they destroy medicine or components. Okay, good. He's back to normal. Phew. Jesus. All right, let's get the power grid back. <laughs> Oops. Ah, there we go. Um, and that. Okay. Dan is not crazy anymore. Nah, Dan's fine. I like Dan. Well, I'll explain why I like Dan. Because he's a great crafter. Having a double experience crafter or a double passion crafter is just about the best thing you can do in mid to late game. Because you depend more and more and more as the game goes on on crafting. So it, it does make sense in time. In time. Great structure. Not really one that we're equipped to do. We got some visitors. Some visitors. I can't really think of what we'd need, though. Ugh. We survived a lot of bad stuff, but hopefully now there will be good stuff. Okay, thank you for visiting him. Good, good job, good job. And a recent conquest, we'll survive that, we'll be fine. Um, Dan, you've removed your hat, Dan, and you look so majestic. He almost looks like Christ-like. Uh, hmm. Malnutrition is going away, good. His lover is dead, but it's fine, because he has a catharsis times two. Jesus. Now, again, the reason why these mood buffs are so extreme is because we've opted for, like, extremely, uh, sort of... Uh, emotionally volatile colonists. <laughs> Just for fun. <laughs> Just for fun. Hmm, good parkas. Sort of need that, but at least Dan is getting to work now. Okay, good, Dan's, Dan's working. Um... What else have we got to get him to do? We do need more limestone from around, so we could start to mine out some of that. I think we'll start to mine from these cave walls. Inspired creativity on Pesto. Thank God, something good. Okay, this is fantastic because Pesto is actually making a lot of art right now. We'll be able to convert Dan to our ideology. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. 
We just have to make the floor look less like crap. <sighs> yes, it's a character arc. You're right, you're right. 140 emotion buff, though, means that this man couldn't be phased by anything. Even if they cut off his arms and legs and his head, he would be still so glad. I don't think parka is the most urgent thing, though, so I'm just going to go build one. All right, Dan, what else are you doing? Because otherwise, I mean, hear me out. Dan is a pretty productive guy. I liked him. Good, he's getting rid of a rotting corpse. Look, that's a nice thing for Dan to do. Chef Boyardee is on edge. Because recreation deprived. Uh, ooh, that's not good. Yeah, eat something, Chef Boyardee. There we go. Good job, good job. All right, yeah. The worst thing that you can have happen is for a colonist to snap when they are... No recent conquest, slept outside... Uh, darkness. Okay, we're going to give you, like, a light or something. Chef Boyardee, are you... you could you're cheering him up. Also, maybe somebody could clean this room. Uh, did he really want to hear it? I don't want to hear any of that. Let's go eat something. Eat something, please. Good. Playing horseshoes. I mean, I don't want them to break because that's the worst thing that can happen with malaria. Yeah, get out of there. Eat some macaroni or something like that. You'll feel better. Get the rock rubble. Oh, yeah, and then the door was destroyed. Man, just adding insult to injury. It's like your colonists actively work to destroy you whenever you mess these things up in our world. I might want to consider auto doors as being pretty essential as well. Uh, let's see. Visitors. We got visitors here. That's fine. Man, it can be exhausting, though. How in the world did I make that person so happy? He was so unhappy before. He hated everything. Dan didn't like any of this. Uh, how are we, though? Okay, we're almost done with this sculpture. I'm thinking where would be the most productive place to put this? Probably just going to go straight in here. I hope that Pesto gets something great on this. Like maybe legendary or masterwork. Or at least excellent. Because we need something like that. Okay, and what is it? It's... Excellent. Oh, okay. All right. That's still good. Still good. Go there. Pesto. Good job. Uh, let's see. Let's get Dan to just install that. And then we're going to try to convert you in the room that you just moved a statue to. All right. So what are the chances of being able to... We could begin the singing shanties now. We're going to need a perfume department, though. Hmm... I think on ritual, they'll get between a... Uh, all right, so we get a decent chance. We need to keep on building more stuff for this room in order to get a better chance at it uh, being successful. Hey, Super Nova Kane. Hey, thank you very much for the sub. Much appreciated. Hmm. Yeah, Dan, Dan is pretty... He was... He's tired of a lot of this crap around here. Now, Slinging Slasher, how are you doing? Are you recovering? 43 and 66, so a very good chance of being fine no matter what happens. Uh, but is hungry. Go eat something. Who has been cooking? Uh, Chef Boyer. Oh, yeah, this is because Chef Boyardee has not been cooking. Due to the... the I was going to say the pandemic. <laughs> Basically a pan Man, what a 2020 thing to say. Uh, God. All right. Uh... No, there we go. Come on, Slinging Slasher. Eat the meal. Eat the food, Slinging Slasher. Dan, you clean. Unfortunately, we don't have too many incapable loves in this colony, besides Pesto, whom we gave the role. But Pesto is good. Pesto is stable and is working to make everyone happier in the colony and more productive due to the uh, artistic stuff. Good. Okay, this room does not look as much like garbage anymore. Slightly impressive. That's a huge mood buff. One thing you can do to just generally bring up the mood of everyone is to... Uh, improve that main room. I really didn't want to be doing so much damage control this time, but it's unfortunately like still kind of necessary. Should I sleep underground or outdoors? Oh, because they didn't build the door. Come on, build the door, build the door. Slept out. Yeah, a lot of these are just because the door has been open. And Slinging Slasher has become a slaughter. That's actually an okay... Yes. I didn't like that cat anyway. Oh, wait, I did like the cat, kind of. Uh, I meant I disliked the other cat. Well, fortunately, there's nothing left to slaughter. So that's a fairly quick 
mental break. I'm sorry for the cat, but nobody was fortunately bonded to. I know everyone's very upset. There's a lot of cat people around. I'm also a little upset. But it beats some of the other alternatives, believe me. Uh, uh, yeah, you don't, you don't want many of those things to happen. All right, they're still out of commission. Ah, oh, Chef Boyardee. Okay, Chef Boyardee is doing fine. Man, a really tough time for this place, but I think we're going to come into an age of Aquarius. Yeah, good. We've got another large sculpture coming up. Thankful that it wasn't a grand sculpture, because you don't really want to waste it on that. And grand sculptures also just take a really long time. It's kind of a risk to make it. We dodged the alternatives, but at what cost? <laughs> Hmm, cargo pods. Okay, apparel. This might be good. Uh, some mittens. It says gloves, but those are mittens. Yeah, again, not really that necessary. Okay, uh, what do you do when your colonists are upset about everything? You make a lot of psychoid. So what we're going to go ahead and do is make another bill. Um, do we have this in here? Psychite? I can never remember how to do this exactly. I think we need... What else do we need to make? Oh, we need to research psychoid brewing, right? So let's do this. Oh, Dan, have you changed? No, he still hasn't changed. All right, alas. Um, well, when that doesn't work, can we do... Nope, I believe it is still on research. Okay, psychoid brewing allows us to make psychite tea, which is a pretty good thing. And I mean... To people who say that drugs don't solve problems in RimWorld, they haven't used smoke leaf and psychite. They can pretty much carry an entire colony's move, and I really don't mind people getting addicted to the substances anymore in the game, because they can be overcome once your colony gets advanced enough. You can be dependent on psychite for the entire game, and it's just fine. It's totally fine. You don't want, as long as you don't run out of it, to be clear. Uh, but yeah, that's important. Okay, your malaria is about to get better. Good. How'd you like strange weapon? You're fine. We just get that rid of that, though. Dan. Okay, get your pistol back. Actually, get the bolt-action rifle. Alright, I think we're good now. No re weird messages on the side. Bulk goods trader. Ah, yes, a bulk goods trader. That could actually be useful, except that they are isolating themselves. Is there anything that we need? Yeah, we could do a trade. All right, let's see what they have. Mm, pesto, you are... Ah, uh, Dan is actually the best one in social right now. Let's go ahead and deconstruct this wall. We'll never do deconstructing. There we go. Okay, break down the wall and mad boomalopes. That's not something that you want to see. Ooh. That's like the worst thing. Uh. <laughs> Ooh, I don't like any of that. All right, um I have one idea. You with me what I'm thinking? Well, we have gotten some of the historically worst events I've ever gotten in a RimWorld playthrough like all right in a row. But Fortunately, we have the trader here, so I don't think that they'll care about if our base goes on fire. But my plan is just get everybody in the door and blow up one of them. The one good bit of news is that... Are you a brawler? Yeah, you are a brawler. Okay, I'm not going to give you a pistol then because you'll be very upset. You just... You stay out of this slinging slasher. Just equip that. You're going to be fine. Everyone will recover. But you three need to take out one of these things. Uh, hopefully as far away... Okay, they're gonna come in through there. So let's keep that in mind. I wonder if they'll just go straight across the river. Now, I want to be ready to retreat if this doesn't go so well. Please, oh, please, oh, please, don't die. Don't die. Shoot that thing. Shoot that thing. Yes, good. It worked. All that firepower paid off. No, don't run away. You're crazy. You're crazy. There we go. Okay, you're dead. All right. Uh, uh, yeah, I think we took pretty good care of the base. We've got a river between us and the fire. Otherwise, you know, despite the fact that it is slightly awkward terrain, building next to a river is not that bad. Not that bad at all. 
As long as I give, I remember to give my caravans. Yes, we do need to give the. Uh, what is it? Uh, who is going to? Dan, you interact with the trader. All right, let's see what they have. We may have some things that we could trade. Uh, what? This has never happened on a trade screen before. <sighs> How even? Yeah, we're here to trade. <laughs> what? What do you have to trade? We're here to trade. <laughs> How does that happen? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. That's wild. Did I did I miss something obvious? In the assign tab. They're offering their nothing for my nothing, yeah, right. I I did miss the uh the stock trading mod though. That was an interesting one. Where you could trade like uh bonds with other clients and the bond prices went up so high and then there was always like a stock market crash it combines like stonks with rimworld very interesting all right uh yes that's the official that's the official terminology okay i'm gonna say uh let's make this room nice because i have a clear role that i want dan to have because i think dan can pretty well uh carry this colony and now everybody's mood is much better we got another fire That'll instantly go out. Might want to invest in some fire stopping, though, because we've had quite a lot of that here. Mm, do that. What do we have a lot of? Yeah, I think we're fine now. Just really want them to kind of clean up. Good, they'll do that. My god, if we had, if only we had more plants, because Slinging Slasher is probably the fastest planter I've ever seen. We just aren't leveraging the ability that much. Something we get a couple more traders, but good. Got the smoke leaf down. Yes. Nice. Good job. I like to see that. Could get a couple more of these bedrooms going down. And now let's good. We've made the infirmary not an eyesore. So let's make this place actually decent. Like some place you would want to be if you got hurt, and not just a place where you would be confined to. And you're like, please let me out of here. Uh, yeah, that would be ideal. Oh, wow. Wall lamp was added into... Ah, uh, wall lamp was added into vanilla factions expanded to ancients. Interesting. Wall lamp is just about the most useful thing that there is in the game. All right, in the efforts to kind of up our construction skills, we'll smooth out these walls. And I think we'll bring it down here. I'll we'll put some wiring through these walls. Go ahead and do that. Ah, oh, man, more walls to do stuff with? Nah, I like that. It does take them some time, but it's something that they actually can't mess up. It's impossible for them to mess up that task. Oh, yes, good. We got another art. Another art. Ooh, where is the other art? N uh, normal. Really? That's too bad. All right, well, we'll put it in there anyway. Uh, that and probably the rec room. Or maybe we'll move them in here, and then we'll move them into the rec room in a few minutes, just to kind of game it. Um, find it, ask if I could schedule in, uh, Psych IT only in... Yes, that's true. Um, well, once we get some Psych IT up, you want to make sure that they don't have it more than, like, once every... Yeah, that's right, 48 hours or so. Because you can increase the potential for them to get addicted to it, if they have it over certain intervals. Like, for example, if they have beer once a day... Uh, it's unlikely that they'll become alcoholics, but if they have, like, smoke leaf every single day, uh, or flake would be one that's way more addictive, uh, there's a much higher chance that they'll get addicted to it. So you want to be careful. Each drug kind of has its own, uh, interval. And it's, again, it's all randomized, so you can get unlucky. I believe it also depends on colonist traits, but, um, yeah, we'll, we'll look at each one individually as we come to it. Um, unfortunately, Pesto isn't really getting much done now because Pesto is just an artist. But that's going to keep on upping the colony. It's like a longer-term task. Good. Good. Technically, none of these are actually bedrooms yet. Uh, is Dan on construction? Also, okay, Dan is not a very good constructor, but we're going to need him to just do it anyway. Uh, I'm going to put it to a three for him. Okay, whenever you're done crafting... Alright, what kinds of other things do we have? You can always tell if your colony is 
Like, it's doing fine right now, but the fact that there's all these messes on the ground and a lot of things need repair means that they haven't gotten to that last stage of tasks. You can manually order them, but they generally tend to be the last thing that colonists do before everything is running perfectly. Um, good. Okay, we've got these things built. I hate having the marsh on the ground, so that's nice. Good Dan is doing a little bit of construction. Good job, Dan. Good guy, Dan. Uh, quest expires in 13 hours. Didn't really care for this because we don't want to build a great... I don't mess with the royals. Come on, wall lamp. Go, wall lamp. Everyone believes in you, wall lamp. Right, I think, uh, another thing we could focus on now is... Unless if we get those crazy raiders that just, like, uh, blow up the entire wall. It would be good to get a firing position here. We could also add concrete here so that they don't have any cover, and maybe add in another outer wall. That would be interesting. We've gotten into some great firefights here, where there's just this big no-man's land where they can't hide behind anything. The problem is that the, the jungle is just so lush that they can hide behind these trees. Um, what are you doing? Slinging slasher? Hauling limestone chunk? Okay, good. We're getting in long-term tasks. This is nice. Ah, nice, good. We're getting the bedrooms done. I love that, I love that. Let's get some more wood down, too, because I see that they are just don't have enough of it. Uh, let's do harvest fully grown, and we'll just kind of keep cutting away at the cover that enemies might be able to stand in. Uh, the only other place that we're really just not defended from at all is this side. So, I might add in a whole mess of spike trips, and honestly, just another killing box, or kill box over here. Uh, but I hope that they'll walk around, so let's try to just take out some insurance for that. Yes, good, you're already doing that. Uh, now they're doing the tasks that I wanted them to. I gotta admit, whenever I'm doing a video, I, I find that when I play RimWorld alone, it's like I'm a little bit more patient for them to do the tasks, but if, if it takes so long for them to get to things that I've ordered, I like the, I don't like them to be lagging so far behind, um, but it's just kind of a fact of the game, so... It is there. My god, look, he's taken down an entire forest in a matter of minutes. Slinging Slasher is very good. It's like a T, uh, regular black T. Um, hmm. Oh, who is also on our research? Because that one bit of Psychite research would be useful. Um, who is doing that? Crisis of Belief. Dan, good. Dan has had a Crisis of Belief. It's going to be a great time to convert him. Okay, now things are going pretty well. Uh, slinging Slasher, you could actually research before you do anything else. Pesto is there, and let's go smooth out these walls. We'll get in another wall lamp over there. I don't even know I didn't do everything as wall lamps. I greatly prefer them. Put that down there, and then we'll build more of these here. Uh, we'll just do that. Alright, we'll figure it out. Uh, let's build that just a little bit closer. Be like there so that it has the range. Yeah, something like that. Uh, Dan's on a crisis of belief. Okay, so Dan has gotten out of his 140 catharsis and he's upset about his lover dying again. He's got nine more days. Um, good, we get rid of him. Now he's hardy. <laughs> uh, nerdy's in conquest because of this. No execution. So he's even more upset than the others usually are. But we're going to try to convert him next. Get it together, D A A A A A N N N N. D A A A A A N. Ah, oh, Puppet Rogue, thank you for the thousand bits. I feel like. Oh, actually, he, he got right out of it. Ah, oh, speak of the devil, you made a good prediction. Thank you very much. That's very generous. Generous uh, bit sum. Thank you. Puppet Rogue, much appreciated, my friend. Elinia, one. Thanks very much for the prime. Coffee or tea? Which one do I prefer? I drink both of them. I like them both for different reasons. I don't like it when people try to make you choose between the two because they're both good foods. You know what? I, I mean, they're not foods. They're drinks. So, like, you know, take everything I say with a grain of salt because I'm an idiot. But yeah, both coffee and tea. I would say, like, I'm a big fan of, like, a, a one thing that they serve in my town. It's like a, there's a lot of Cuban food, so they serve cafe con leche. And that's just really a good, a good coffee. And there's so many other good ways to drink coffee as well. But I mean, like, I don't want to betray tea. Like, tea is great if it's been a long day and you're kind of winding down and you, 
and like it's not time for coffee anymore and you don't feel like you're going to get stuff done but you just kind of want to go to bed you know uh, of course there are exceptions but by and large yeah and like if i'm feeling like i'm a little bit in the zen yeah some green tea will do Apfuzak, thanks very much for the prime yeah and even like iced tea wow there's like just so many options of beverage to drink Ugh. Why choose when you can have them all? Only a crazy person would. All right, these have gotten separated out. They're done with their main construction bits. I like this. Good job. Good job. Having one dedicated artist, although it seems very counterproductive in the beginning, becomes extremely productive later on. Let's also just floor all of this with concrete. I'm going to put concrete all over this room. We could do paved tile. How much... Um Steel do we have? We have 780 steel. So steel is actually quite in high, quite very much in high supply. I'm going to build um, concrete because it's just faster to walk on. And honestly, the main reason I'm building it right now is because I don't want them tracking dirt everywhere. Uh, one thing that you can always keep track of is, well, the dirt. Uh, we want to watch some of the paths that these guys go on. Like if they are going diagonal over this, we might want to pave over some of that with concrete because it's just not worth all the mess that they'll make. Either that or create a wall over here. So you're going out into the field just to stargaze, but that's a different story. Um, and we also are just going to want to take out more, more insurance for our defense. So I'm going to go ahead and build. Uh, what am I going to build? Oh, I wanted to do a double wall in here. So we'll do that first. And then we'll say something like this. How are we going to do this again? I've been thinking about alternating these, but mm, I think that this works just as well. Like if we do this, and then we build more walls along here like that and that. Oh, exactly what I outlined. Yeah. So ignore me. Uh, whoops, not that one. And can we get to, we can get access to all of them? Man, it's like trying to solve that puzzle with Team Rocket in Pokemon to figure out if you can get to these things. You gotta make sure that your colonists can s fix these things without having to trigger one of them. Uh, and I guess ultimately we'll want to have doors over here. We could do another door here, but I just don't want to have it that risk going on. You know what I mean? Like they could do a quick walk through here, repair everything, or get in and out as ever they need. In the morning, I usually have an English breakfast tea. It's easy and good with cream and sugar. Well, caffeinated tea there is. And there's also non-caffeinated co decaf coffee, you know. A, co a, a hot beverage for all seasons. Hmm. Is iced coffee probably... Cause, well, there's also that great Chris Farley sketch with, uh, what is it? Have you ever had Colombian coffee crystals? <laughs> Why, you <son> <laughs> Uh, that's a great sketch. All right, we've got two normal ones. Let's go see if we can do this ritual now. I, ideally, you just want to have the room be as impress, impressive. <laughs> Suddenly, like, developed a lisp. Um, impressive as possible. There we are. You work on that. You work on that. And then can we convert him? Can we convert in? Uh, begin roll change. Whoops. Conversion ritual of Dan. We still are at only 46%. But why? Why, why, why? Uh, Dan's expectation is low. We still might get some of the effect done. Participants, only 2 out of 10. That's true. We have. We just need so many more people to get somebody converted into our ideologian. Yeah, ideologians are pretty weak until we get more people for them. But we can start to get the snowball effect going. And he's, he's kind of falling away from his main thing. Let's go ahead and have, uh, I should have done this before. But we're gonna have Slinging Slasher do some Dan conversion. Come on, get him. While he's busy, uh, pouring concrete, he would never expect to be converted to a religion when he's, yes! Oh, so good. Nobody expects that. I was just standing here pouring concrete when the thing uh, that I least expected began. Uh, let's see. Oh, we forgot about the spaghetti tasting as well. Conversion ritual. Why can't we do that? Uh, oh, uh, ability on cooldown. Okay, so we've got to wait three days. All right, well, what if we have a spaghetti tasting ritual? We need a lectern and a leader. 
Oh, we don't have a present leader. Okay, so let's get the lectern in there too. Let's just make this room far more impressive. Uh, we have sandstone, right? What do we have in terms of blocks? We don't have like anything. All right. Uh, well, we'll need more blocks then. There's a lot over there. Might end up just going full limestone for this colony because look at all the limestone in the mountains around us. Um, Dan, build this, and then that, and then that. Good job, Dan. Okay, the research is happening faster. We'll have psych in no time. Nobody's snapping anymore. I'm I'm pretty happy with this. Is there anything really pulling them? These two are married or getting married. And that's actually going to make the entire colony much happier over time. Let's go ahead and just reinstall these in here. Because quite honestly, having the uh, very impressive rec room is, is going to be the biggest uh, mood buff to the entire colony. Uh, we'll do this. Reinstall that over there. Could really micromanage that by putting it on the concrete or something, but I think we're fine. All right. Oh, yes, they're getting married. Ah, oh, crap. Why didn't I make the room nicer? Well, I don't think it makes such a big difference. You may now smooch the bride. Uh, here we are. Come on, be, be happy. Be happier. I don't want to ruin their marriage. But I think they're, they've they already got all the mood buff from that. Yeah. Got married, so that's an 80. Okay, that's like a 30-day mood buff. These guys aren't going to snap at all. Yes! It's practically The Sims. Put that in there. Stop being so glad about your marriage. Come on, let's get ready for a mortgage. We've got so much other stuff we've got to do. These guys... Uh, did they get attended wedding? Okay, attended wedding for 10 days. So we're basically safe for 10 days, despite the lover having died. Hey, look, he's pouring concrete, and he's so glad. Ah. Hey, uh, Tysker, thanks very much for gifting the sub. Yeah, we've got the double mood buffs and debuffs, so... If anything good happens, it's amazing, and if anything bad happens, it's horrible. Hey, this thing- hey, Kako's here. What's up, Kako? I didn't even see you before. How's it going? Hmm. Yes! Psychoid! Psychoid, 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 psychoid! Love some of that. Uh, somewhat impressive, even though that the room looks like garbage on the ground, you know. Yeah, that's how you can tell that a room is robust and things like that. How are you, Kako? Mowage. It's... Oh, yes, it's the Princess Bride. Mowage, Mowage. Man, I forgot about the... I have seen that movie. It's been a while, though. It, only after much ballyhoo. Many other people were telling me that I had to see it. You know, that kind of movie... And then that builds up your wall of resistance to seeing it. You're like, no, I don't have to see it. I'm perfectly fine as I am. Of course not. I'm going to be a rebel and not watch the movie. And then you, eventually you watch the movie and you, it turns out you like it. Either that or there was too much buildup for it. Yeah. I don't know why I'm doing this. I just get, like, pet peeves if the colony is not uh, perfectly clean. Maybe I could do it at the... Actually, they won't really be upset about this. How did you get in? Transport pod crash. Okay. Uh, man, this one was only an enemy, but are you any good? Absent-minded. Bloodlust is good, but they also can fight each other, too. It, generally speaking, makes colonists not like each other. Um, I'm going to wait until we convert Dan till we bring in any new colonists. I think we're on, we're on the brink of it here with Dan. We might even have a spaghetti tasting. Hmm, actually, the singing shanties might not be bad either. We have enough participants and we could get the... Hmm. Well, the worst thing is to have a bad sea shanty, though, because then that brings down everybody's mood. Yeah, we'll be fine. Um, I honestly was not ready for this. I thought our colony would take a lot longer to get better because it was so bad there for a while, but now it's like unusually calm that I'm just working on things that are like utility trying to get the colonists to move faster for one thing that's kind of important uh, but also just getting more money getting more defenses generally speaking those are when you're when your colonists are in a good mood you want to work on those other things that are a little bit more pragmatic perhaps good you're getting the wood out of there good oh who died You hear when the children celebrate in the background? That's one of the things that RimWorld Pirates, uh, the Vinyl Factions Expanded Pirates mod is doing. Oh, God. Hey, Charlie, thank you very much for the Prime. Much appreciated, my friend. 
Yeah, it's a movie to watch for the quotes. That's good. Well, my favorite one is, uh, my name's, uh, Inigo Montoyo. You killed my father. Prepare to die. That's, uh, that's my personal favorite. Okay, this is interesting. Did we double infestation sizes? I'm trying to remember this with Storyteller. If we go into uh, Casper Cursed, we turned that off. Okay, I may take this then. Uh, infestations, I like to say that they're easy to deal with. I'm lying usually when I say that. But you kind of know what I mean. Like, if you know what to do, it'll go okay. Um, and you also got to be ready for it. So I don't know if I really say anything when I say that, you know, but at the same time, it's also like, y you, if you have your stuff together, you'll survive. I haven't really said much of anything. If I have a very advanced colony with a couple of melee guys, I'll take an infestation or two. I'm not going to be worried about it, but, uh... I gotta feel really ready for it if I am gonna accept one, and I I don't feel like we're there yet. We need more faith in our colonists themselves, because pretty much we're being held up by like a, a thin veneer of civilization right now. They are getting there. The base is starting to look more organized and stuff, but uh, I've kind of moved from the phase of like we're barely surviving it, and we just got out of that so fast that I don't trust anything. Uh, can we get some steel floor? No, we can't get steel floor yet. Uh, but we do need to clean out this room if we can. Um, all right, we'll just do steel tile. That way we can move some of the resources in here. Having a slightly cleaner research room is generally good for the speed. It doesn't affect it by so much. And are you in the light here? You are in 50% light, so that's as, about as well as we can do. Why not give the third ideology roll to Chef Boyardee? Uh, why don't I? Because Chef Boyardee does not have a social stat. Generally speaking, the social stat is really important for your leader because the leader has to give leader speeches. So, um, apparently this alpaca is mad. Um, are they really doing anything outside of the base, though? I think we're good. Um, yeah, so I, I wouldn't really want to give Chef the roll... Just because it's kind of it's gonna bring down the colony in the long run. Uh, like we might have somebody with that role, but it it would be quite short lived. The good thing that came of that. All right, I think without any further ado, let's box in this battery as well. Because like a free battery, might as well do it. Uh, and unfortunately, we can't move these things. Let's bring that in. It's been the oddest ground to try to build over. And I'm not using, like, the steel strong bridges mod. I've just been using regular bridges. But I honestly didn't realize that vanilla bridges can be used over marshy soil until we did this. Which I feel like an ignoramus for not seeing. But so then I am an ignoramus. So be it. Hmm. What else do we need? If we mine out... Let's just directly mine out this wall. I don't mind if we're underneath a few mountains... Like, if there are bugs, then there are bugs. That's kind of my treatise on that. I don't wish for them to be there all the time, but... You know, if we have to weather a few, we'll, we'll survive it. Uh, we will leave these ones, though. Let's just leave that as the cutoff between these two rooms. Good. All right, that's a nice wall. Love that wall. Nothing quite like it. Slinging Slasher. Are you getting any good at research? Okay, you have a single passion, so this is fine. And, you know, you're doing your plant work as ever you need. Hey, Z. Roberson, how are you, my friend? Thanks for coming out. Hey, Jimsney. Thanks very much for coming out. I'm going to be an ignoramus. That best igni yeah, like, you might as well own up to your role as an ignoramus. And just be proud of it. Like, I'm ugly and I'm proud, you know? All right, where are my words? I have no more words for this. Hmm. Okay. Colony's good. We're at a bit of an awkward standstill here where we just kind of have to wait for stuff to do better. They're not really trekking dirt anywhere. Let's go ahead and build up their rooms a bit more next. Now, for the rooms, 
I'm thinking that the most plentiful resource that would be easy to use here would be either limestone or cloth, since we have such a good planter. We really haven't planted that much in terms of number of fields of cloth. Are we good with medicine? We're not really good with medicine. Uh, we could do a skirmish. And to me, it was uh, a great favorite. Just the A site of battle between two factions. Okay, ooh, interesting, there's a battle. I'd rather just raid these pirates in time, but we're just kind of living without that mood buff. It's fine. Um, one thing I like to look for at this point in the colony is just, like, are there any small patches of dirt where they're trekking stuff back and forth? Because that could lead to things like food spoiling, like here, you notice I forgot to put in um, concrete. They really don't spend a lot of time in this room, so I'm just going to do that. Uh, we'll also build this here. And generally speaking, they're getting the limestone in. That's also a nice sign. We like to see that. I'm going to go ahead and remove some of these plans as well now. Because we, we can kind of see the general outline of what we're going for. And it's not really worth it to spend too much more time on it. Now, the next thing I could think of would be like fire foam poppers. I believe we have to research those though, right? Now, research room is kind of dirty. Good. Ah, good. We're starting to see the repairs happening though. Repairs, then it'll be cleaning. And Pesto is inspired to more creativity. Good. Uh, let's just make more sculptures, I say. Yep, use whatever materials available. Might as well. I think the... Uh, actually, limestone will be fine in time. Yeah, so no real concerns there. Good. Like to see that. Hmm, are we able to access this? Well, we won't have to access it that often, so it's fine. You'd want to avoid having them ever have to walk over a spike trap. God forbid, sometimes when they walk over a spike trap, it means that uh, they just... They die. <laughs> they just die. Uh, it's horrible. Oh, no, get that one, please. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. And then we'll, generally speaking, just clear out this area. I think I also will pave over this ground here. I just like to keep the area in front of my base clear. And good, we have uh, research on... Um, what is it? Psychoid Brewing. I think the next thing we'll do will be either microelectronics or my preference here is geothermal power. Which will essentially function as a battery too. And then we'll probably end up doing a battery after that. Disease fibrous meganites. Are fibrous meganites the ones that get you faster? Or slower? Yep, they make you faster, but they get you into pain. Uh, I actually, I kind of like fibrous mechanites. This is good. Save him. Or her. Wood floor would be nice in the ritual room. A nice pirate ship mood. Ah, that's true. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, we need something kind of piratey. Mad capybara. Oh, it'll die before it gets here. Yes, watch it go through. I feel so safe inside now, though. I mean, we've got a double wall. We've got, like, layers upon layers of spike traps. No one could possibly get through. Until we decide to come out there for some reason. Uh, for which I'm going to do right now. I'm going to tell them to harvest this because I'm Two not really that afraid the best of a mad amphibian capybara. In the world. Hey, thank you. Oh, what a nice guy. Hey, red guy. Hey, thank you very much for the two months. I appreciate that. Let's get you out here. This way you go and the capybara gets itself killed. We're fine. Yes, hooray. Children all everywhere just from a vague direction celebrate for that for some reason. Also harvest these. Good. Good. And that's a free meal. It's like McDonald's. There we are. What am I talking about? They don't give away free meals. Hmm. Might want to double up on our power grid, too, just because that could be kind of disastrous at some point. But I think, just generally speaking, this extra limestone is doing us some good. All right, group of travelers, group of travelers. I feel safe, though. Let's just think, though, like, the necessities of life are food, water, and shelter. We have food, plenty of it. What would happen if we got a solar flare? We'd still be fine because we have tons of rice, which doesn't spoil for a while. Uh, shelter, we're okay. Are our colonists happy? They are temporarily because of the wedding. 
but about six days from now they're going to be upset there's the no recent conquest there's the sickness they're all still not that happy because the environment doesn't really look that good so we're working on more uh, art that's important pesto what are you doing you're going for a walk all right uh, that's acceptable um i think it would be good to give them another source of recreation billiards does improve their shooting skill very gradually over time i don't know what poker does and if they meditate it improves their intellectual uh i haven't uh, i don't want them to lose fingers but it does train their melee skill we could always just replace their whole arms right cuts on the fingers it slowly trains melee skill that's kind of valuable <laughs> It's pretty funny, though, too. Uh, soft top bound table for playing far allows up to two players at a time. Uh, let's just... I think billiards looks good. Pool, as the kids call it. I still remember when my dad took us to play pool for the first time as kids. I was like, so we're going to the pool. I put on my bathing suit. I guess... Why, why wouldn't you, you know? Ugh. And I said, well, under the Raiders started bringing... Yes, if they do bring mortars, it would be good to get uh, some tech up if we could get, like, a sniper rifle. You do need sniper rifles to take out Raiders in time. Ugh. I still think we're a little bit far from mortars being enacted by Raiders, though. Watch, they'll bring mortars, like, the next raid. But we've got this at the very least. Like, we're safe from wild animals. We're safe from most things. Um, let's go ahead and put... We'll just kind of put statues, like, everywhere. Because, generally speaking, places where colonists start to go crazy are like the infirmary because they've been lying in bed so long. You want to make it a very nice place for them. Um, but did we get this to extremely impressive? Somewhat impressive. Okay, so let's just keep on working on this one room. I mean, it, you've got to have sculptures, like, every three feet. If you want to make it so that the, the rec room is always good. It's even... They could be lying in horrible bedrooms. But as long as the rec room is nice. They care more about that. Um, yeah. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and just smooth out the floors. I think that that's fine. Where is it? Smooth surface. There we go. Because, you know, although we could get carpets and stuff like that. It's so much cotton to create carpets. And we'll do... Probably better just by smoothing out the surfaces. These ones don't really matter, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, there we go. And there we go. And, uh, you know, might as well just take the extra space while we've got it. But what if I want to build something else down here later on? Yeah, maybe we will just build more of those. Yeah, no need to smooth that. There we go. Cancel this and build more of these. I don't know, I just want it to look nice. And smooth more. All of that. And I just undid what I said. It's fine, I don't care. It's just two more tasks for them to do. Uh, and then, as far as these floors, let's just get something kind of quick and dirty. Unless if we have the stone. Okay, we have some sandstone, so let's do that. Floors, sandstone tiles. We'll do like that, 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 that 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 and that okay now there's no way that they can trek dirt everywhere this is going to generally take down the amount of work that they have to do in the colony and wowzers they are getting right to work on that that's nice love it when they do the thing that i just asked them to do hey volrath how are you my friend thanks for the five months yeah attending it with the glitter world medicine right uh we want to make sure that i think everybody's on the herbal medicine game Generally speaking, if I see somebody's got something really bad, then I'll manually give them normal medicine or uh, Glitter World. Any tips for big open bases? Almost 300 hours in this game, and I can only survive if I go underground. I'd actually say going underground is harder. Um, big open bases, the things that you have to watch out for are like um, drop pod raids, um, mortars, that kind of thing. So as far as drop pod raids go... You'd want to have something that could save you from mechanoids in case they just come through the ceiling. So make sure that you've got, uh, like, a couple people with EMP weapons from time to time. Drop pod raids? Uh, well, actually, you'd, for the mortars, you'd also want snipers. So you need people who are good shots. Um, 
Underground, you generally need melee colonists because you're going to be dealing with more infestations. But I don't know. That, that's kind of what comes up on my up uh, on the top of my head. Hmm. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like Twitch has kind of been like coming in and out because I haven't dropped any frames. So some people saying the uh, stream's going in and out. I, don't know, I have to check that though. I'm sorry, I can't see it in person. Um, Dan's conversion. Oh yeah, we've got a. Uh, we might be able to actually convert Dan right now. Let's move all of these statues in there, uh, and then prepare Dan to become super happy, or really even better than that. Let's just. <laughs> this feels kind of silly, but we're gonna just move all of this in here. There we go, Dan. Time for us to convert you. Go out there and be somebody, Dan. We'll clean the room and then we'll convert you. Uh, only a 46% chance. Wow, whoa, 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 whoa. what happened there? Expected quality, 46%. Is that the same as a 46% chance? Uh, still not really impressive enough. Hang on a second, let's get some work done in here. Let's get you smooth this area, you... Uh, I can't do that, so you do this. There we go. We will convert you and you'll like it. Let's look at the room's quality. Very impressive. A little dirty. I know there's some concrete in the corner, but it shouldn't be such a big deal. Come on, Dan. Get converted today. Can you clean? Clean? Yeah, okay, at least you can still clean. You're not like a total snob or anything. Oh, don't throw up on the floor! That's rude. Somebody pick that up. There we go. Get that vomit off the ground. Ah, stop vomiting on the ground. Why are you vomiting? Food poisoning. Was the kitchen dirty? Yeah, the kitchen is looking quite dirty. We probably shouldn't have it right across from that patch of dirt, but I mean, how can you really avoid that with the kitchen? I guess, to be fair, one thing that was wrong with my workflow is you shouldn't have the kitchen like facing out toward the fields because you don't want colonists to trek dirt in from the fields. So what I might end up doing there is to just deconstruct that door, but I feel like it kills the workflow. Maybe I just need to do it to keep the kitchen clean. I don't really want to install the uh, common sense mod. I'd like to see if I can get this done without the common sense mod. Please stop throwing up on the ground. Ah, oh, what an absolute... Just an abomination. There we go. Get it done. Vomit. Uh, we're going to have a 46%, but maybe I'm just going to end up doing it because I think I'm going to have a better chance now than anywhere else, any other time. Please stop. Uh, man. Why can't I? How come I can't click on it? Someone else clean that up, please. Yes, there we are. Please stop eating also. That's causing more vomit and intimidating them with how quickly you can eat. I know it's a bad, bad ki It's There's only a little bit of blood on the floor, though. Only a little bit. Only a little bit. Well, you know what? 50% is... Uh, at least there's a chance of it happening. We've got the best possible room quality. Uh, slinging Slasher's social impact. That adds a little bit to it. And we just need to get more participants. Let's go. Bring him in. Convert this man. Wahoo, wahi, wahoo, ho, ho. Wahoo. Hoo, ha, ho, ho. Come on, get him, get him, get him. Stoom kids afraid to leave is stoop. Oh, Fred yeah. just stay, Kalu, Kalei. What an absolutely great time to say that. Yes, Fred just stay. Hey, the Gabardine suit. Thank you very much for the six months, my friend. Half a year we're celebrating. Ah, oh, God bless you, my friend. Thank you. All right, uh, now Dan, having been converted to nautical pastafarianism, can become the saltiest of seamen. Um, he has leader speech. The reason why I waited for this man is because he's, uh, his expectations are raised. He's going to need a visage mask, uh, so let's just get a visage mask ready for him because I don't want to not have that. Uh, 
Do we have this? Do we have this? Hey, Tysker, thank you very much for gifting another sub. Thank you, my friend. You've gifted so many subs. Thank you. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, visage mask. There we go. Now, can he make it? First off, repair it. So that it doesn't break underneath him. And then... Tailor. Tailor that mask that will be yours. You will wear that and enjoy it. You'll love it. You'll love that. Yes, now we're going to make you into the leader. The leader. Finally, we'll have a leader. Okay, we have a blight on the psychoid. Uh, ooh, that is not good. Oh, why didn't I get auto-cut blight? Well, whatever it is. Let's just cut all of these. No, what an awful time to get a blight. What a horrible night for a curse. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Wahoo, wahee, wah, oh, oh, oh. Fortunately, this is not that long a ritual. Okay, I don't know if we need to just have this in our main rec room, but I, I like having them separate. So I'll move that again. We don't really need to do anything major for a while. Um, actually, we could have the spaghetti tasting. You know, I stand corrected. Never mind. Uh, never mind. Let's taste some spaghetti. Well, after we cut this stuff out. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you why I never put anything as a one priority. Because now I need to do this. If we get them all doing that. They should cut the plants. Why are they not cutting those plants? Ah, okay. Here, there they go. Yes! You are a machine slinging slasher. No, 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 don't go to bed. Oh, now I have to manually have them do every single one. Okay, that's no fun. Come on, come on, man. I wish you would just set them on fire. Unfortunately, this is at his resting time. Well, what I could do is... I could just force him to work. Okay, Slinging Slasher, you're working all day for a moment. You're doing that, and that prevents me from having to micromanage any of it. Cut that, and I believe that's it. I don't see any more. And you just work forever anyway. There we are. Do anything, and we're good. All right, nice. Actually went much more smooth than expected. See, we don't need that auto-cut blight. We're just fine without it. Just fine without it. Although it's a really nice mod. Although it is. Hmm. Now Dan is the leader after everything he's been through. Yeah, I know Dan went through quite a lot. But what are our overall colonists experiencing now? Okay, so a little bit of rebuffing, but that's not bad because maybe it'll end up in like a relationship or something. Well, wait, why are you uh, flirting with Chef Boyardee, who is already happily married to Pesto? No, I don't think I'll allow this. Masterful conversion we're glad about as well. All right. Everyone's happy as can be. Clap your hands. Yeah, we love, we love that. Oh, what am I saying? Hmm. Okay, quest of active Odendund. Interesting, cat joins. Let's look a little bit more closely on this. Successful roll change, uh, blight on the sacred plants. I think we did most of this. Chef Boyardee has been inspired with cooking. Okay, it doesn't really make a major difference. I suppose we could cook a lot of meals if we wanted to, but Chef Boyardee already sort of does that. Let's take these things off of number one. Make this number four, three, two. That looks good. Okay. Well, our colony is going well now. I'm not going to lie. Uh, at this point in time, what we can start to consider is... Uh, I like to make it look visually better at this point. Like, you know, separate everything out into actual piles. And then also starting to tech up. We haven't really done much of that. Um... There is dirt. There is still a slight risk of some mood breaks. Like, if something horrible happens, somebody could go on one. But for the most part, they're not going to go on mood breaks just because, you know, it looks dirty or something like that anymore. Uh, we're pretty much past that. So I'm thinking... Ah, Vertical Boy. Yeah, we're... Uh, vertical B. Uh, my bad. Yeah, I'm going to be putting out this on YouTube once, uh, once we have the whole thing. Um... This is interesting. I think we will keep this around because it's a it's like a free crypto sleep cast. Because 
Some people say that's cryo sleep. They misread it. I misread it for a while, but I always get that comment. So just read carefully. But uh, good, we're building this. I think at this point we can deconstruct these things or even just leave that ship chunk battery in there. I don't care if we can get to it or not. It's going to be rare if people were bothered from that end in any way. Um, but what other things should we do? I'm going to go ahead and say that the next thing we might want to think of is just having more meals on hand would be good. Let's have like 30 meals on hand would not be bad. Uh, and the other thing I have to do is, I don't know why I didn't do this before. I forgot about this. Uh, we'll just put this up and I think it's better to have, if we have, oops, cook simple meal times four. That's a better one because that way they do batch cooking. Um, do until you have X. Do until we have, what is it? No, not 110. There we go, 30. So they'll do batch cooking first. Let's just see. If I tell you to cook meals, are you going to get enough for 40? Yep, good. All right, and now we have better ingredients as well. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just shrink down the zone. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and create a couple new zones. We got our kind of first phase of kitchen stockpiling. So we want to have um, a few piles. One we could do is general meat. We kind of want to have this one be bigger because we might have a couple of different types of meat. Um, it might be like two or even as many as three. Let's even bring it down here. And we'll just make this meat. Uh, meat, and we'll make this important we might get some of the meat spoiling but look at all of the meat that we have in there there's just so much we're gonna go ahead and also create uh where is it like what is the best man there's so many other options with um vegetarian fine meal we'll start with fine meals we could do lavish meals too lavish meals i think they really enjoy but fine meals we'll just go up one rung at a time I don't really want to give us... I don't want to overdo it before we can sustain it. So we're going to go ahead and say 10. We'll make it like 20 and we'll make them batch cooks. Lavish meal. To, um, honestly, it might be fine to just give them a choice. Where is fine meal times 4? Fine meal times 4. There we go. Fine meal times 4. And we'll do that until we have X. Do that until we have X. Let's just set them each to like 12. Take out that. So they'll first first take care of their basic needs, the simple meals, and then they'll go on from there. And the other thing we're also going to do is our main crop that we sort of switch to now is corn. Which is, generally speaking, as far as I know, I mean there's various opinions on this. It has to do with crop turnover, but we'll make this one be just corn. Because it's, it's less work and it's more yield, proportional to the amount of work and whatnot. Um, so are they making, what kind of meal is this now? This is a simple meal times four. Uh, we might want to go over to just vegetarian ingredients with the simple meals. So, yeah, we won't have animal products in those clothes. No animal products. Clothes. And then don't forget, we also have to make everything be drop on floor. That's drop on floor. Is this drop on floor? Take the best stockpile. We need to do this drop. It's so many steps, but, it, you know, it, it does pay off. All right, let's just kind of watch the cook for a moment. So, still is Bringing things to... The, okay, there we go. Drop on floor. Let's just make sure that the chef is doing things right. Hey, Naga Prince. Thanks for coming out. Hmm, does anyone know why wall light has not become part of the core game? I'm guessing because Tynan doesn't want to take off the, the modders, like, monopoly on that. I don't know. The other thing, too, is that there's so many things in RimWorld where if they added them as parts of the, mid, the main game, it, it would start to become a lot... It's, I think it's one of the uh, games that is best responded to modding over time. So we do need a lectern. Oops, I'm fine with it being steel. That's all right. Okay, one of them is fine. Uh, what do we need? We need a vanity. Okay, so a styling station. We'll make a wooden styling station. I guess I'll put that in... I don't think it really matters where the styling station is located. I guess near the stockpile zones, we'll just put it in the workshop, because, or I don't know. I mean, they'll spend some time in there. Does it even matter at all? Let's just put it 
Somewhere it won't be in the way. Sure, a stockpile room. Actually, they'll, they rare, so rarely do they need to use this. It's probably better off way out of the way. Put it like over in the corner, you can style yourself. And we'll put this here. I'm not sure how I feel about these wall lights though. Wall light is great, but at the same time, it's also like being economical with the light. You know, this part of the room is dark. Um, generally speaking, the center of the room is going to be a good place for it. So I guess that would actually be a case to put the wall light like on a post in the middle. Uh, I don't know. This is kind of micromanagey though. I don't really like that. Mm, what I'm really hoping for on the next DLC is Z levels. Hey, what's up, Cheese, my brother? How are you? It's doing well. How's your day going, my man? Uh, Z levels. There is a mod for Z levels. Royale with cheese out here, man. I, how, how's um how's Zomboid going, man? Have you uh have you looked into any? Actually, I don't know. Zomboid's kind of like on this boom. Like I don't know why I'm not on Zomboid right now. At the same time, every now and then though, I just like to kind of sink my teeth into one of these relaxing colonies. My God, I feel relaxed. Dear God, I feel so relaxed. Uh, once they get over this wedding, we should start to have a couple of singing shanties because these guys are not going to be glad in a little while. You wish RimWorld had Z levels. Z levels is like, uh, yeah, Z levels. If they added that in on a DLC, that would be incredible. I'm pretty sure that's a mod, though. Uh, or it has been under development for a while, but I haven't seen as much of it. Okay, here we go. Smoke Leaf. Uh, we're going to go ahead into drug policies because we didn't have this in our last colony because they were all teetotalers. Uh, I believe that's how, is that how you say that word? Whatever it is. Um, a sign is it under policies schedule work? I can't remember. Okay, here we go. Drug policies. So they're all under social drugs, so we'll just do that. We don't have anybody who's like uh, chemically inclined in here. So this is social use. Generally speaking, social use is not that bad, but we do. Beer is fine with that because it's so rare that they get addicted to beer. But my God, there's so many in this. Did I see the dev blog yesterday? Lots of crazy new things in Build 42. I haven't really been keeping up with it. I feel like I've just kind of been on my, I've been on my own, man. I've been on my own grind. But it's always a blast to come back to a game after you haven't been uh, checking the dev logs and stuff like that. Hmm. Surprised Zomboid's devs aren't considered using the whole map too. Level. Yeah, I think they've chatted about that a bit. It's a lot of good stuff out there. Hmm. Okay, smoke leaf joints. So this is for social use. I don't really like this. I prefer to make a policy every two days. And I can't remember what's the exact um, potential of it. Tolerance gain per use. Tolerance rate fall 1.5% per day. So... You don't want them to build up too much, so, you know, 1.5 times 2 equals 3, so I believe it's every 48 hours. But I'm not sure if I'm doing that right. Flammability, 130%. Uh, not really something that I like them to use a lot, to be honest with you. I would prefer Psychite Tea, but I... Oh, I do have Psychite Brewing, so then let's get that in there as well. Let's deal with these two uh, things. I'm going to say every 3 days, if mood is below, I'm going to go, like, 50%. Actually, I'm going to make this one. This is going to be like my emergency drug that I have them use, where I'm going to say if it goes below 35%, take it. Uh, recreation below any is good, because you really just want to prevent mood breaks with these things. Uh, what is this one again for addictions? Uh, eh, well, we don't really have any, so we won't deal with it. Then where is my Psychite Tea? Psychite Tea. Iced coffee also could kind of be considered. Maybe I should try out some of these things because they get my colonists all very fast and nice. I thought that said yingling. Nope. Irish coffee. I love a good Irish coffee. Psych IT. Okay, here we go. So Psych IT, I'm going to make also every three days because these two drug policies will be managed separately. Um, and here's my thing. Although that it's a more addictive thing... I prefer that my colonists take Psychite because, uh, not socially. Actually, I don't even think I'm going to do socially at all because that just adds in all these weird variables. But 40% because Psychite is good because look what it does. Um, less pain and less tiredness. And doesn't it speed them up? 
I'm not sure about that. I might need to... Uh, I may have misspoken. Safe dose interval... Okay, there we go. Safe dose interval two days. Uh, so then I'm going to make it every two days. Maybe can I get it in here too? Safe dose interval two days. Okay, so then we'll make this one every two days too. Because why not? Wouldn't it be funny if uh, one of them, you know, chanced upon that? Oh, whatever it is. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of micromanaging, but I pretty much never have to do that again for the rest of the colony. It's a nice thing to have going because uh, safe dose interval. Yeah, safe dose interval. I'm not sure if that used to be in there. When I first started playing, I felt like I had to figure that out myself by looking at the wiki. If I'm not mistaken. Temporary workers. Temporary workers can be good. Do we really need them? Oh, they need mine. I'm, my bad. I don't really want to give away workers, though. Our colonies... Like, once our colony is a well-oiled machine, which was my second goal for this thing. Uh, and it's getting there. And I kind of wanted to go into that. Now, why aren't we smoothing this? That's weird. A ah, gremlin pod sprout. Ooh, that's nice. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, we're going to take that. Yes. I love this. Go slinging slasher. We have a gremlin pod. Ah, I love a gremlin pod. Ah, now everyone gives me their opinion on what to do, and then I just... I just get anxiety because there's so many options. Gremlin trees uh, seeds are great because you can just get a bunch of free workers for your colony. Mm, they are reworking the lighting system. Oh, and the, uh, the thing. Hey, Scarecrow, thank you. Mm. Mm -hmm. There are many good ones. I will probably do the ones that are uh, that excel in like hauling. I believe it is. So can we do this? We can say plant gremlin tree. I I feel like a gremlin tree would look quite nice over here. But what are they? What are gremlin trees not like? I suppose we need to get like some grove in our own base, right? I might need to expand out our walls somewhere. But well, that would be fine. That would be fine. Um, but I just want to be wary of that because we do need it to be in like a lush spot. I just want to kind of consider that. Not perfect. We're going to be building walls up there. So I'm going to say right about here looks like the best opportunity we'll have because we want to be building that external wall. You see what I'm saying out here along that river? And we have solid ground on which we could build here, but we could expand out our wall and enemies aren't really coming here to attack us. Um, let's give it a try. We don't have to build it in right away. If we lost the Gremlin tree, it wouldn't be the end of the world. Um, I had not even thought of that, but it's just kind of like a blessing, a good thing that happened to us. And we'll see what we can do with it. Jurassic Milk, thank you very much for the two months. Much appreciated, my friend. All right, so this colony is doing well. Uh, as far as uh, drug policies go, so we don't, we uh, more notably are not creating any of them. So let's go ahead and go to over back to production. Uh, we've got a lot more stuff from Vanilla Expanded, which I'll probably start looking into as we go. Um, where is it? Butcher table, electric tailor bench. Uh, uh, where is it? Am I missing it? Bills, can we make Psych IT? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we've got Psych IT. Make Psych IT times four. Let's do that. Oh, we have X. I can't remember whether this is under production or what. But let's just have 30 on hand at all times. And see how they do with that. I believe it's a cooking thing. Um, the other thing we're going to need is a smoke leaf processing center. Which I believe is under production. Did, correct me if I'm wrong. Where where is that anyway? What menu is that under planter box? Tool planter box. Electric butcher. Do we not have the research for that? Hmm. Was this all done during the stream? This and the last stream before this. Hmm. Yeah, we've gotten quite a lot done. Wood and steel. And why are we not building this? Why is no one doing this thing? Maybe we don't have the skill to construct it. Hmm. Has been pruning a gremlin tree is more. Yeah, it's kind of like you do have to send one of your colonists off to just constantly take care of the tree. So you want it to be in a convenient spot. Tree connection. We'll just leave it there for now. I don't really. Yeah, it can be a, a kind of a an annoying thing that you have to constantly check on babysit. 
But I, I guess in that case, if we're going to expand out, let's go ahead and build more walls. I like this whole colony along the river type of thing. I've never done this before, and it's interesting. Uh, we'll leave, like, one space here, I suppose. But, ah, uh, maybe we just want to build direct, like, King Arthur, you know? We'll build directly along the river. Okay, we got a raid, never mind. Uh, well, they came out, in a, out of an advantageous side. Do we have, okay, Pesto is out of here. But oh, that's no good. That's no good. Get out of there. Everybody get over there. You stay over here, though. Hopefully, they'll just come straight into the colony. Thinking, I, yeah, I want them to path toward these people who are m far more obvious. Okay, now we are starting to get, let's just keep an eye on tribal raid sizes. It's mostly just people with, like, blunt objects still. And it does look as if they are coming for, mostly for the base? Okay, mostly for the base, so then that's fine. Pesto should be fine here, and also has the river between um, uh, himself and the enemy. Okay, so we're just going to... Who are you shooting? There we go. You two are here, and you'll be fine. I'm not worried about you. They're going to get themselves killed. All right, I'm not worried at all. Yep. Free stuff, free stuff, free stuff, free stuff. Okay, do we get any interesting colonists here? Mostly that's how early RimWorld uh, raids go. If you are if you're not just totally screwed. Ooh. Hello. Ooh, this is a good colonist. Hey, Grognavisk. Hey, thank you very much for saying hello as well as the sub. Much appreciated. I stream uh, and take the video. I put these vi uh, VODs on the VOD channel, not on the main channel, really. Sometimes I'll get ideas for the main channel with this. All right, so then we won't strip you. We're going to leave you alone. But who is Perote? Perote is quite good, too. Um, creepy breathing misogynist rebel. I don't really think that will do too well in our colony, so I'm just going to say no. Uh, I'm pretty picky with this type of thing. Okay, let's convert our infirmary into a prison. Whoops. Prisoners, there we go. Um, capture. There we go. Okay, and how bad condition are you in? Are you going to survive death in three hours? That's no good. Okay, Pesto, come back because Pesto is the best doctor. Does Pesto have any... Me Pesto does have Glitter World medicine. You know what? We'll just use it. I'm not too worried. And what about this guy? Is also quite good. Technophobe. Fear of change in Redax Majernity. A true Luddite. I identify with Arazubi. Whether by past trauma or fear of change, Arazubi rejects modernity. They may randomly punch or attack mechanical... Okay, I don't really like that, though. Slow learner and slothful. Those two are bad. Would be a good fighter. Could be great in a late, late game colony. But I don't think we'll do too well right now. Uh, and you come back, because I need you to immediately care for this person. And also, someone's install a light in this room, for God's sake. Never mind, we'll be fine. I'll just have Chef Boy RD do the rest of this work. Mm. Clean the blood, clean the blood. Okay, first off, we need to turn up the health. Turn up the health, I say! Good, already tending. Already tending, you clean the area. This colonist may not survive. It got only two hours left. Wait a second, where are you going? You have, you have Glitter World Medicine on you. Ah, why are you doing that? I said Glitter... Was it because of this? Yes, there we go. Okay, it was because... Uh, wait, why? Why? Oh, I didn't change it. I'm an idiot. Alright, just do it. Whatever. We've lost a couple minutes. That might have cost the life. But... Okay. And stabilized. Good. Okay, stop using that Glitter World medicine. I'm not even sure we need it in the first place. There we go. Good. Phew, that was a close call. I really do care about that colonist. That looked like a great colonist. Mm -hmm. People talking about this game are sometimes like people talking about Crusader Kings. They sound like psychopaths, but it makes sense in context. Yes, that's true. Uh, <laughs> wait, why are you using that? Well, whatever. It's fine. I don't want him to get hurt. We don't really have much of a use of this medicine right now, anyway. 
Rest available, hostility of fortune, look change, desire, Dan. Dan, why don't you just change yourself, man? What does Dan desire? What could you possibly desire, Dan? Look change, desired. The way I look doesn't match who I am today. I want to change it. Well, WTF, Jan uh, Dan? Change yourself. Oh, we haven't built the thing. We need wood. Okay, we'll just cut down a lot more trees. Die, trees. Die. There we are. Fortunately, Slinging Slasher is just a genius of this. And their gear, honestly, I it's good, but uh, it's not really worth it. If we can't get their gear, I'll be fine. Yeah, we'll live. Normally, it's good to do that, but whatever. What is the best mod for so Ooh, solar roofs? I never even thought of that. What, like you install roof panels and they cost steel and components or something and then they... That is so interesting. I've never even thought of that. That would be a great mod if it doesn't already exist, but I somehow bet that it already exists. And, oh, alas, no, Adelong's left arm is cut off, but that's actually not that bad. Uh, because we can get another one. <laughs> that's how this game works, folks. <laughs> oh, that's not so bad. You'll get over that. Kind of like a world I, you know, I wish we lived in a world like that. No, it'll be fine. We'll just get you another one. That'd be so nice. It must be feeling nice to be getting fed all these lavish meals. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and just try to... Uh, is there a way to... It's kind of hard to convert. Convert the prisoner to their ideology. Okay, so I'm told that converting to the ideology is best. And then convert them to your faction, right? Relations have changed to a uh, tendency toward natural... Alright, something happened. Adelung is asleep. Probably will be for a while, so he can't actively convert. It's fine. I'm happy that we can take on a prisoner, and quite a good one, if I might add. Even if they're missing an arm. Um, not really going to get in the way here. Not really going to change much. Now, why are we moving all of this stuff over there? Okay, let's say Psychite T also belongs in here. Um, how, does Psychite T spoil? It does not. Okay, all the more reason then to just go ahead and make a shelf in our main room. And we could... Ah, we'll just do wood. It's fine. We'll make a shelf and we'll put the Psych IT on that. I like to have a couple of shelves in my main room off of which they can just grab beer and Psych IT and whatnot. Yeah, convert first. Well, they're a captive audience, then turn them. That sound, seems legit to me. Now we'll try to convert. Get off of your research because really... These aren't the best colonists for this. Yes, certainty is down. Was upset by the tempt, so we'll be in a worse mood, but it's fine. Honestly, it would not be a bad place for a prison, but we totally forgot about prison cells in this. Um, there's a few obvious locations we could put a prison cell. Or not so obvious, but there's many locations we could, but none so obvious. Hmm. Oh, they had a party. I didn't even notice. Good. Right, I don't know why you're not doing this. I can't see why they just totally passed up this construction. Yeah, you're supposed to do construction before cooking. Oh no, cooking comes before construction, I stand corrected. And we are being raided from the out- Ooh, this is not a good time to get raided. This is a bad time to get raided. <laughs> That's what this is! Oh! Oh, what? Look what happened there. All right, uh, we are going to need to... I did not expect a raid that fast, but fortunately they are not coming any minute soon, so let's over some wood. Ooh, Dan has been inspired to recruit! Ooh, Dan, 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 Dandy Dan. Dandy Dan the man. All right, good job, Dan. Good job. Bonam Fortunam. Nice. like that. like to see that. Work. 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 Man, there's gonna be so many dead people in here. This place is really gonna lose a lot of its property value. Don't like to see that at all. Build that, then build that. Good job, Dan. Everybody believes in you, Dan. Oh, such a solid dude. Oh, told you he'd come back. Told you it was worth it to get this guy in our colony. 
Yes. Richie was very helpful. What are arms? Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm with you. You know, we don't really need them. Not necessary. They're beginning the assault. Okay, let's see what they do. Are they going to come in to the side that I really don't want them to? This would be very, very bad, as it looks as if they are doing right now. But why are you going that way? Uh, many of them are going that way, though. These people... Okay, this is interesting. I am not afraid, though. Not really. I think these guys are going into the... Why would they do that? Yeah, okay, all right. Very interesting. Man, that makes me fear melee colonists even more. Oh no, I, I like these bugs. They're like a shield for me. These guys are probably just going to run. Unfortunately, the spellipedes fell asleep. And then these guys... Uh, Dan might not want to cross the river right now. Whoops. I wish that they had some common sense like with that. Maybe you could get in a pot shot or two, but I'm pretty sure that these guys will have taken enough attrition by the time that they're done. That they'll just leave. Come on, down her, Dan. Down her. Okay, now I want you to run back. Uh, actually, yeah, you could go through that door. That's fine. Oh, crap! Why would they do that? Hooray! Not worried. Not worried. <sighs> These guys are lost in a cave, though they are quite quick. How did you get over the- Oh, I forgot to rebuild that. That's bad. That's rather bad. Um, okay. All right, well, this guy got stuck in a spike trap. Mongoose. Let's see, are you any good? Ooh, this guy's getting rather close. Okay, well, let's see if they're any good at all. You're a good cook, but you're desensitized. That might be good. And neat. That might be nice. Good with animals, but I don't really care for animals that much. Submissive. Pyromania. No. Plants, body modder, brawler. They're not bad, but there's none. There's not one of them who's really talking to me. I'd rather spend a lot of time on one colonist that I like. So I'm gonna be kind of picky right here. Ah, uh, that got one. That one guy who's there. Thanks very much for the prime. Much appreciated, my friend. Yeah, they're tribals. I mean, you can find really good tribals, but yeah, I'm surprised that these ones did that. I thought that we had left some exposed spot down here i'll say this one reason why i built our bedrooms down here is because generally speaking raiders path directly to bedrooms so it's it's a good idea to do that we should also strip but i i mean stripping raiders they don't really have anything they have the toques that could be useful if it gets cold at some point let's just get them off but i don't really care to get them in only for emergencies really also because their clothing loses like all of its value if it's tainted off of them. There we go. Quest expired. Skirmish. Don't care. Major break risk. Who is having a major break risk? Why? Recreation deprived. Because you've been researching all the time. Just go eat cake or something like that. All right. Well, I can force you to have. Whoops. I can force you to have psych IT. Okay. You enjoy that. Have a good time. That's a good man. That's a good man. All right now, oh, before I was rudely interrupted, uh, I forgot how to make smoke leaf. Oh, now I remember how to make smoke leaf. I don't know why this took me so long, and I recall now why it's been so long, because I didn't make a crafting spot. Uh, crafting spot, crafting spot. We don't want it to be in the fridge, because then somebody might freeze to death and get frostbite on their fingers, so we'll just put it there. Uh, bad temperature. Interesting. Ah, uh, okay, so we're getting some of the cold of the kitchen seep out here, but also... It is just plain cold out right now. Are they at least well insulated on the inside here? Eh, but it wouldn't hurt to get a couple heaters, at least in their bedrooms. I mean, we are in the southern hemisphere. Yeah, I know, I built a wall in the wrong... Oh, I bit... Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. I missed that. Thank you. That's why I, That's why we do this. Ah, uh, crap. That would have been pretty bad, wouldn't it? Nah, I was just kidding, guys. I saw that. I was just trying to, you know, catch you in case if uh, I want to see that you're paying attention. <laughs> oh, no. That would not have been the right thing to do. There we go. 
pretty satisfied with how this colony is coming out. I'll say it's not it's not the most aesthetically pleasing colony I've ever made, but I mean, it does everything it's supposed to now. Yes, you guys, everyone passed. Everyone passed. I was trying to trick you to see if you could see that. Huh. Watch out for some more curveballs. Wowzers. Uh, somebody else died. There we go. Okay, let's keep on building up this thing because uh, it seems necessary. I don't know. Like, it just seems really cool. RimWorld is a game where you want to build a castle and... Well, I'm building my castle. Major breakers. Uh, what? Okay, I don't know why it gave me those messages. All right. Very well, very well, game. Let's just link it up there. Cancel. Whoops. Cancel all of that, and we're good. Okay, so now we have a nice smooth wall. If any raiders want to come in, I hope that doesn't mess with their pathing too much, but we could build bridges over just to kind of get them to come over. We want a nice convex surface that the raiders won't take cover behind. Um... So that seems fairly safe to me. And look, we got some chem fuel for free. Actually, chem fuel was something that we didn't really make time for. Chem fuel can be really, really good if you if you give it its its proper time. And we'll take in these things. Now, one thing I'd like to do is all of these primitive weapons. We'll smelt them down for steel. So let's go ahead and make a smelter over here. It is going to take up a lot of power, so it's not really worth having it for a while. Um, here we go. Smelter. Again, uses up a lot of power, but... Uh, worthwhile to use it. Or worthwhile to have one in the long run. We've got two... Uh, I'm gonna forbid it for a little while. Alright, Adalong. How are we coming along with you? Uh, about 33% there still. Slinging Slasher is about halfway to being able to use the convert function again. Pretty much the main way that we're gonna be able to convert her. Um, we will give her light. I'm just going to have to force them to smooth these things out. You are happy, so you're never going to be upset. Oh, this is weird. Oh, so you can't smooth that. We'll do these ones then. Ah, ha, ha, nya, ha, ha, ha. I see what is going on here. You are not able to do things through corners. That is actually rather annoying, but I, I'll allow it. I suppose I'll allow it. I mean, what else could I do? Um, uh, I don't like that placement. We could mine out this wall here, but then that leads to further complications. You know, I'm just going to have to deconstruct that. Eh, it's fine. I'll have a couple of exposed wires, too, on the outside here. So that, and that, and that. I don't know why that happened. We won't we won't deconstruct that either. We'll just do this. See what I'm saying? Like you got to make sure that the wire is fully connected. It's annoying me, you know. Hey, Mithril Onion, thanks for coming out. Oh, Sagate Binge. That one I may want to arrest for. I don't like that at all. Okay, who has the best relationship with Slinging Slasher? Because you want that colonist to be the one to uh, arrest them. 83% chance. Only because this could get kind of hairy, but I really don't want him to develop a psychite addiction. It's one of the dangers. Okay, and he lost the role of uh, Flying Spaghetti Swashbuckler. Now what we can just do here is to release immediately. So release... release and it's over okay uh a bit of an annoying thing where you need to micromanage but you become this flying spaghetti swashbuckler again this is really stupid the way that happens at times but whatever every game has some micromanagement use dan to recruit he has ah yes dan does have the inspiration that's true let me make sure that dan is doing the uh oh he, dan could also command somebody to a work drive I think Chef Boyardee is probably our most valuable worker right now. So I'm going to go ahead and work. Good. All right. Uh, mm. Oh, we're bringing Adelung over to the better prisoner room. All right. I stand for that. Uh, let's make it over here, in fact. 
Let's do that. Uh, no, get, get her, actually. There we go. Put her in there. Good. All right. <laughs> now that that's over. <laughs> uh, do that. I wonder if Gerald Williams makes it to RimWorld. I don't know. I feel like Gerald Williams was just so special. I've, I'll be glad if anything else becomes like that series. That was a, just kind of a fun one that spontaneously happened. Generally speaking, if I try to bring back an old character, it just feels sometimes... Sometimes it feels kind of forced to me, so I'll, I'll probably wait on it. But maybe, like, for a cameo thing, that would be funny. Thanks. Happy you enjoyed it, though. If the outsides are smooth, the enclosed unreachable corner gets smoothed for free. Ahaha, uh -huh, really? Wait, but it's not, it's not, uh, smooth. Do I just need to take it off? Come what may. Come what may, we'll do this. I can't build in there, I don't know why. One would think it, it shouldn't happen like that, but... Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Alright, structure, let's add in one more bridge, because that marshy soil bothers me. I think we're just about there. The smoothing surfaces must be so low down their priority of work. I'm wondering if it's changed the way with, uh... Not really, no. This seems to me like they just don't ever smooth surfaces. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's something wrong with the mods that I've been using. My mod list. I'll just tell them to manually do all of them. <laughs> that sounds like torture. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, sir. Whoa, this inspired recruiting is really changing some stuff. That's nice. That's nice. It's what we like to see happening. Let's make smoke leaf joys. Uh, do until we have. Let's do like another 30 there. It could be dangerous to have that many, but uh, it is what it is. It is what it is. I will make this important for P S Y C H I T E. There we go. Psychite tea. So they'll put the psychite there, and then we'll probably make another shelf and put, like, smoke leaf in there. The reason I'm... Ooh, they did build that. Nice. Nice. Hey, Ludos. Thanks very much for the prime. That, um... Uh, bridge with a sand ba ba sandbag on top of it for the free... I'm not... You know, I'm really new to bridges. I haven't used them, like, at all. So I, uh, I don't, I don't really know what I'm doing, but yeah, maybe I could look up some more pathfinding stuff. Or if you have any ideas, if you have like a helpful image, send it to me and I'll look at it. Ping me with it. Ping me with it. Ooh, look at that. Look at all of that. Yeah. Mm, conversion. Okay, Dan tried to convert. Uh, he convinced and changed her ideology. She is now she is a nautical pastafari. That's good. Okay, so this should make everything a lot better. We're going to focus on recruiting her. And since Dan is Dan is the man, man, inspired recruiting is such a nice thing to have. Um, I'm trying to think if we need anybody else to get social skill up. Now, how is she feeling though? She's stressed because it's a hideous environment. All right, fair enough, fair enough. We'll clean the dirt out of there at the very least. My God, there is a lot of dirt in there. Dull and profit. Okay, dull is not as bad. Just the darkness. Okay, so then let's do this. Build copies of that along here, and we'll that over there. And you build that, and then you build this. We just want to get this prisoner converted, because this could be quite a good addition to our colony. Uh, I'm trying to think of what I'm going to do with her right away, because she's going to have very poor manipulation. Because of the lack of one of her arms. But 50% manipulation, I've worked with harder stuff too. I know you're playing RimWorld right now, but I just want to tell you PZ series is the best. Ah, oh, thank you very much. Ah, oh, that's very kind of you. Thank you very much. Happy you enjoyed it, my friend. Yes, as I was saying, with the uh, with the manipulation, like, if you play as a character without any arms in RimWorld, you will have 0% manipulation. I believe that there is a mod that gives you a little bit, but, like, having a wooden arm is just about as low as you can go. Either that or prosthetic. Aren't you happy now? Hungry. 
Well, we'll have to do a little bit of warning for you. But at the same time, I, I'm not really going to start administering smoke leaf. I don't think it's necessary at this point. The high mood. Dirty co oh, crap. Dirty cooking area. It's too bad that you can't create like a priority clean zone. Probably another thing in a mod. What are you talking about? It's super clean in there. It's Mr. Clean in there. All somebody did was throw some wrappers on the ground. But what I am going to do, because I believe that filth can be... Hmm, council. Uh, effect of a sad memory. Oh, that could be useful in case if we have any sad memories. Um, pesto, why don't you just clean out this entire fridge? I'm going to manually go through the entire colony now and just clean a bit because although it's not really affecting stuff that much, food poisoning isn't good. And I see an opportunity for the spreading of filth. I know, it, it dismays me just as much as it may you around here because they're look they're traveling through dirt every time they want to come in and out of the base and they get the kitchen dirty and there's schmutz all over everything and no one likes that uh, and uh, yeah, everyone's gonna be very upset so let's go ahead and do this we'll just completely floor everything and the colony will be clean yes and I've been waiting for so long but it, it just gives me great satisfaction to have a clean colony All right, there we are, there we are. Good, good, good. Fantastic. All right, now I'm gonna show you the other thing that I usually do when I want a colony to be clean. Um, ooh, like, ooh, look at these sculptures. Uh, hmm. How impressive is this room? Very impressive. I think we need to get it to extremely impressive though. It must be the best. It must be the best. Mm. No, we need... Oh, God. Well, I still miss the uh, the Roombas. But once we get this... Uh, artifact. Oh, we found the artifact. Oh, Aldante! Aldante has been discovered. You've learned that the relict is nearby. Uh, venerated by all nautical pastafarians. If we could collect it, this might be the raid that we needed. We could raid while we're on our way. We Yes, we will absolutely do this. Okay, I'm going to accept... I don't believe that it has a specific amount of time for us to do it. All that days, yeah. Three days, this is the amount of time that's left. Yeah, where where is this, where is this item? We need to uh, find this item because when you find a relic, it does get quite overpowered. And we could probably repair it given all the mods that we have going on. Uh, quests, there we go. Where is Aldante? Odin Hunt. No, that's not it. Where is it? Nearby. How nearby? That doesn't appear to be nearby to me. Oh, yes, that's right. We have the sub-quests. I forget about this. Dumpsters and bins that will automatic... I know, but I don't like to do all those, like, doormat and stuff like that because I have my own ways of doing everything and it gives me great satisfaction. I see what you're saying, though. I complain a lot for how little I do about it. Um, but, good, Dan has, has been given the opportunity to change, and yet he has not changed. Stop throwing up that's not allowed. Stop. God. Okay, good job, Dan, good job. Uh, oh, why are we putting pistols on that? We don't really need that there. Uh, oh yes, I forgot that that's the default. All right, so let's turn that off and then we'll say smoke leaf. Smoke leaf joint will go on here instead. Good, uh, lavish, oh, got more dirty cooking. Uh, there we go. Um, hmm. We need to clean out this area. Just clean out the entire fridge. The fridge is f quite filthy. There we go. Like I said, this time I like to do some mods, but I wanted to just limit it to vanilla expanded stuff. Maybe there is a way to do it with vanilla expanded. Mm, there we are. But overall, the best thing that you can do is to just make it so that they can't track dirt anywhere. Dirt is the one thing that... Dirt and like any kind of liquids will get tracked everywhere. Ultimately, I do like to get one dedicated cleaner to my colony, but what I'm going to ultimately try to do here is this. Uh, once we get some actual limestone for this project, we will put limestone along here. 
and here, just so that they don't, like, step on these things. And Adelong has gone berserk. It's no good, but you can see how we have some shielding from the filth if we do this. No. There we go. That's ultimately the goal. And you are trying to kill Dan. When did this happen? Oh, because you had double melee skill. Please don't kill Dan. Please don't kill Dan. Please don't kill Dan. Dear God, Dan, stick up for yourself, man. Okay, good job, Dan. Dan is fine. Capture again. And technically, this is now just all a cell, so I'll leave you there. Stay in bed. All we did was poison your food accidentally. Don't stop vomit. My God, that's a lot of vomit. Yeah, you work on this. You work on this. Jesus. Okay, a little bit of growing pains, but uh, again, this isn't really anything that's affecting our colony overall. Like, everybody's doing fine. I say, as you just sit in the pile of your own vomit. Uh, is malnourished, though. Has anyone been taking care of you? Dan, go feed her. I know that she just tried to kill you, but at the same time... High on psychite, psychite tolerance. Okay, well then give her a smoke leaf. Just whatever it takes. Whatever it takes is what we're giving her. Uh, we, we need her to be slower, not faster. There we go. Okay, you then can tend to her, which just means give her a smoke leaf joint until she stays quiet. Oh no, not that medicine. Why would you give her that medicine? There we go. Good. Build a door. No, build her in. Build her in. No, I'm not... Well, the, the point is this, is that if I play with the Misc Robots mod, it just becomes nothing but robots. You know what I mean? Like, I've... I, sometimes I'll go with those types of colonies where I make everything just Roombas. But I feel like it just kind of gets boring at a point. Like, we could go Rim Factory, but it just... I don't know. It feels a little old to me if I do too much of it. Like, but if I do, I'm going to go all the way. I'm going to use all of the Roomba mods. Ah, uh, so you can't do this for construction okay, or wardening. You do this as your fourth priority. Chatting. You can prioritize chatting. Interesting. So what if I give you... Well, is she... Did she get the smoke leaf? No, she didn't. Why didn't we give this woman smoke leaf? I say it must be done at once. I say it must be done at once. Operate. I love it how it's considered an operation. <laughs> uh, yeah, coffee turtle. Day's been pretty good. Hope you've been doing well. Bulk goods trader. Ah, see, they know the right way to go. These are the people who know what's happening around them. They have some idea of what's going on. Let's take down this wall so that they can use that limestone for better purposes. They could have a second wall, but I think it's kind of overrated. Did they roof this? Ooh, that do be kind of bad. All right, well, whatever. We just, we don't want anyone to step underneath that roof and die. That can happen. Does she come berserk? Okay, no, she's fine. Conversion, we converted her. Successful roll change. Helenus needs rescue. Dan, why is Dan down? Uh, he was... <laughs> He's drinking too much psych IT. Okay, rescue him. Go get Dan. He's not doing too good right now. Oh, we really need to make the infirmary look better. <laughs> Just here, sit in the pile of vomit for a few hours and you'll feel fine. Blood and vomit on the ground. There we are. Good. Uh, okay, you preach help. On Dan. Dan is asleep, so he can't have health preached onto him. Let's make the prisoner stronger then for no particular reason. Just because we can. And build her in. Build her in and then clean. Keep her happy, keep her happy. Good. Smooth. Then smooth more. I want this woman very, very happy. No, cold snap. All right, it seems like we've gone through a lot of adversity, and I haven't even been wearing my adversity shield. Uh, so I think, like, it's... Uh, we'll, we'll continue to uh, muddle through this. 
But I said I wanted like a well-oiled machine, and I, I, I gotta admit, I'm not, I'm like, I'm a little depressed that I haven't really gotten to a perfect, whoops, I uh, didn't mean to say that. There we go, we'll just wait for you to get some of that stuff. Pause needs treatment. Oh, crap, there's just so much to be done. Dan, stop trying to get out of bed, and like, you gotta see a doctor, man. Oh, we were, accidentally did that. No, that's not what I meant either. Yes, go eat that lavish meal, you'll feel better. I know you need to sit in a chair, but just eat it right there. Who cares? There was a mod that caused you to die if you don't eat a meal in a chair. Hmm. I oh, had yeah, Dan give himself... Ah, that's that must be why. Right, there we are. I think we need to let our colonists catch up a bit. They've been through a lot. All right, let's go see Bulk Goods Trader. Dan, you are in bed. You're not in good health, so let's just have somebody else do it. Who's our next best social person? There we go. Trade with the Bulk Goods Trader. All right, there's a lot of options here. Okay, we have a bull. Interesting. Mm, don't really deem it necessary though. I'm gonna go ahead and say let's sell a lot of this cloth because we just don't need it all. I would rather get like some kind of gun or technology or something of that nature. But they are bulk goods traders so they probably won't take as much of that cloth backpack. Do they have components? Components or like a lot of stone blocks would also be useful. Smoke leaf joints we could also sell. Bananas and oranges. I haven't been using these oranges at all so I'm just gonna do that. Mm, we'll sell all of the clothing that we aren't using. Especially that which is in poor quality, because I just don't want my colonists to wear it in the first place. Uh, we'll keep anything that's like 80-ish and above. These are bad quality, so we won't do it. When are we going to do a 10,000 colonist run? Oh my god. Yeah, I've done 100 and now 1,000. Now I need to do 10,000. Well, they have optimized the game more, so maybe I'll get the same number of frames. I guess we'll keep that cloth bandana because they like it. There's a ghillie suit in this? Holy cow. Wow, I didn't even realize that we had one of those. Man, I feel really stupid that I haven't used that. That's such an interesting item. Uh, hmm. All right, now what else did we say I was going to sell? Psy I could sell like half of that psych item. It'd be fun. I think I'm going to sell some of this leather. Just, I don't want to get stuff that we can't use all the Like, cloth is fine. Maybe we'll sell negative 600. No, actually, it's useful for carpets. I'm going to take that back. Hmm. But we will take some... Do they have anything? They don't really have anything valuable to trade. All right, let's just take 837 gold then, I suppose. Or silver, rather. Rice means... Okay, corn, we don't need 5,400 corn. Let's sell, like, 2,300. Because that is actually bringing up the wealth of our colony. Negative 2,300. Okay, I'm satisfied with that. I wish that we were getting more than just silver, but silver is also a resource uh, resource unto itself. We can get a turkey farm going, but I don't really love turkey farms. If they were chickens, I could. But then you just have a crap load of chickens and you don't know what to do with them. This is such a weird game. All right, I accept. And they don't have enough gold. Uh, crap. All right, um, then give me all of your caribou meat and all of your pemmican. I accept. Look at all of that meat. They're like a traveling Arby's. I once started eating a hamburger standing up and suffered a minor heart attack. I've always eaten sitting down. Is that real? What the hell? All right, goodbye. That was actually a fair trade. You know, we got more meat. We haven't really been raising anything, and that allows us to make a lot more lavish meals over time. Uh, I don't like micromanaging how this stuff goes, so that's fine as well. But we do need a heater now. Do we have a component? We do. We have two components. I'm glad that I saved some of those things. I'm going to go ahead and build the heater in their bedrooms because they're pretty well insulated. We've got two walls between most things and them. And I might even just... Man, I didn't expect it would get this cold. Wow. It's so cold. <laughs> hey, gas station boxers. Thanks very much for the 300 bits. Much appreciated, my friend. Hmm. 
We don't have enough for carpets yet. We also haven't been able to do much research. A little bit of stagnation here, not gonna lie. Cotton plant is dying from the cold. It's getting rather cold here. Let's go ahead and build that. Heater. Good, we do have the power linked up though. Um, we could do vents to these rooms. Do we have enough? Uh, we don't, we're kind of iffy on this deal. Let's just hold open the doors. Uh, why hold open? Why hold open? Why hold open? Why hold open? There we go. We don't want to just leave the prisoner's door open or she'll just leave. <laughs> I think that one was quite obvious, though. <laughs> hmm. And I think that this is a bit more urgent, so we'll do that. All right, a bit of a standstill. I was hoping we'd be able to convert this prisoner faster, but at least stuff is happening. And is it warming up? We've got a 70 degree default. 31, 32, 33, 30, there we go. It's 20 in the prisoner's cell. We don't want her to get frostbite, that would be bad. We had breach health. Someone talked to me today, so I'm warmer. <laughs> Right, 34, 35, 36. I think we're going up now. Uh, the other thing, I don't want them to get the trapped under bo underground debuff. But we will just build another small corridor in here just so that they can, like, get an airlock going. We want to be able to control the temperature of this area if that wasn't inherently obvious. Alright, that's good. Phew. Temperatures are going back up and we aren't going to be in trouble again. Uh, you go ahead and clean this, just because it's filthy. Anytime that there's vomit, like, it spreads around. Vomit and blood, you just gotta get it off the floor. No, sir, it is I who appreciate it. Well, you're a nice guy. The more the prisoner suffers, the faster they convert. Um, that's true as far as our ideal religion goes. The, uh, actually, the prisoner has already been converted to radical, uh, nautical, I can't even say it. Pastafarianism, but it has only six resistance left, so now we could make some serious um, gains here. We could make some major spiritual gains. There we go. Deliver the food and then chat. Uh, vanilla Expander, all the mods we've done have at least allow you to do this. We gotta get her on our colony. Good. Nice. Everybody else is in a parka as well. Adelang has joined. Phew, that was good. For colonists. Okay, so she can sleep wherever she wants. She'll quickly convert into her new gear. And nice. Okay, so what are you good at? And then we'll just give you a job. You are good at cooking, you're good with plants, and you're good with construction. So all three of which require you to have another arm, which you don't have. It just means everything's going to be a bit slower. So quite honestly, I... I might just have her continue with what she's doing. The only other thing I could really ever do would be to, like, deliver goods. But I kind of prefer to get a jogger for that. So, I'll probably just leave her on whatever she's on as default. Don't do that. Clean. Clean. Good enough. Alright, inspired trade on pesto doesn't make as much of a difference. Okay, we're up to five colonists. Wowzers, that took a really long time, but... Huzzah! Huzzah, we have done it. Ugh. Alright, I feel still not safe. <laughs> Ironically. Uh, but it's mainly because we don't have snipers. Everything's dying. Mm, what should we do? Fighting the colonists. Yeah, I mean, there's a various number of ways to get your colonists converted faster, but I, I think we did fine with her. Uh, enough stuff is added in from Vanilla Expanded that we don't really need to go to great lengths. Now, this is kind of bothering me. Now, do you have construction? If you do have a double passion in construction, though, I should have her just get all of this stuff done, like, ASAP. You are so passionate about it, too, and I've experienced, like, a double catharsis or something, so you're super fast. Oh my god, I like that. Okay, you're just going to, you're going to smooth your entire room, and then you're going to go crazy. That's my plan for this. <laughs> And let's also just build a couple lights in here. Lights in bedrooms somewhat matter. Like if a prisoner's in there, it matters. Otherwise, though, they, they don't really matter that much. Because, I mean, what are they going to do? They're going to sleep in their room, right? That's it. But you want them to be able to get done with work fast when they're building it. But then after that, it doesn't really matter. So it's, it's ironic. 
Sell my soul and buy the game with all DLCs three times. Ooh, okay, everything is dying. It's fine, though, that everything's dying, because we don't need to. My god, though, it's getting really cold. Is every is everyone warm? Is anyone getting frostbite? Slept in the cold. That doesn't really make as much of a difference, though. Awful bedroom, but they aren't. They're all insulated by the clothing that they're wearing. Okay, you are wearing, like, armor. Why don't you just go ahead and wear this instead? Unless if did I force you to wear this? Oh, yeah, wear a parka. Jesus Christ. And you are also... Well, you're not shivering, so we won't worry about you. But let's go ahead and just build... Uh, we'll make a couple more parkas now because it's getting very cold. Good, the solar flare is ending. And I don't want this to be forced, so I'm just going to have you... It was annoying when they don't do this. Take off that. Haul that. And are you going to put it back on directly? Well, what are you wearing instead? You're wearing a jumpsuit. Okay, the hypothermia is rising, so I am obviously concerned with this. I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Always have enough parkas ready and, like, dusters and sh cowboy hats for your colonists in case if they all start to snap. Mm, just at the difficulty so that well, you learn. Well, the truth is that... Uh, oh, what, like, for 500%? A lot of the higher difficulty RimWorld playthroughs are not... Uh, they're not fun anymore because everyone just gets sick and then they, they die. That's all that happens. All right, I'm feeling good about this place, though. We've got a decent workflow going. We've got another colonist now who can do all of the things that Sandy uh, was not able to do. Uh, it looks like the temperature is coming back up, so we're fine. We're also going to want to start to control for things like heat and cold. Like, we don't want it to just be one. I think we can start to expand on our fridge as well. I don't really care if we get an infestation in here because it's already got so many airlocks. Uh, it doesn't worry me. If it happens, it happens. You try to get one dirty room. Oh, I forgot about this. So let's go ahead and make what I'm going to call our infestation room. Uh, a room that I really want bugs to come into if they uh, if they do arrive in our colony. So we've got to have it be one room. I believe they like going into a room with high dirtiness where it's warm. And I can't remember if the wealth affects the chance that they will come into the room but what you generally speaking want to do is to put a lot of space between this room and that oftentimes i find that it's like a bedroom and it has to be something that's under mountain so right now if i were a bug and i were going to infest our base i would probably come in here or here or here i think those are the only three places either that or they'll infest somewhere else but it would probably be one of our bedrooms so i'm just going to kind of bet on that uh Quite honestly, having them come into the bedrooms would be fine. But one thing that I might change here is just to do this. Only because I can see this is being kind of iffy. Uh, I'm going to make these into single entrances. Just because if bugs, God forbid, do decide to spawn in here. Well, not really God forbid, but you know, if they do spawn in here, you want to be able to stack up on one entrance for them. Two can be dangerous. Farther away it is from regular roofing, the more likely they are to spawn. Uh, oh, like rock roofs? Yeah, I guess the deeper under mountain. But I don't know if I really plan on going that much deeper underneath the mountain. Yeah, it's it's a good idea to create one room that's an infestation where, like, you desire that it, if it's any room, that it's that one room. Just so that you can prepare for it when it happens. Why are you on a major break risk? Serious pain? Oh, because of your fibrous mechanites. Might not be bad to have a catharsis now. Underground or outdoors? Why don't you just have some psychite? Do we have any more of it? Or have you already had it? <laughs> it's already had everything. Uh, okay, maybe you'll just break. Uh, famous last words. Maybe I can do something. Wasn't... Okay, well, was imprisoned as well. Um, Alright, I'm going to go ahead and try to do this. Let's have a spaghetti tasting ritual. Move the meal sheets and the lectern in here. I don't know why I didn't just do one room for all this in the first place. 
Begin the spaghetti tasting. Sand right there. Uh, who else can go? Dan. Otherwise, everybody in this colony is very happy. I, I don't think anyone's too upset. And you. Go there and you do that. Okay, we've got just about everything. Good, good. Bring in the statues. All right, now we begin the spaghetti tasting. 100%. There we go. Yes. They knelt and they, and they talked of spaghetti, pasta, fusilli, rotini, penne, and all of the other shapes of pastas were discussed. Ah. Unforgettable spaghetti tasting ritual. <laughs> ah, that was great. Okay, can we do anything else? Uh, what would... Could we have a singing shanty now? No, we need more participants. We could have as many as 20? Are you kidding me? Jesus Christ. All will participate in the sea shanty. At least we had that good spaghetti tasting ritual. Yeah, the most nicest. Thanks very much for the sub. Prison room and infestation room. Optionally, I like to have it as a bedroom that I'm not using. Hey, the MPGG. Thank you very much, my friend. Too kind. Happy you've enjoyed. Hmm. Now we just have nothing in this room. I feel stupid about that, though. Alright, how is our power situation? We've done surprisingly well with just this one thing. Uh, good, Chef Boyardee is good. We're taking off the roof before we do that so that we don't get the roof to cave in. Um, I'll wait till this wall is done before we go out any further. Let's make sure that everybody has weapons, because sometimes that sneaks up on you. You are not good at anything, really. But I value enough, and you don't have an, an, uh, one of your arms, so I'm just going to give you an auto pistol. Uh, actually, that might work. One hand auto pistol. I wonder if that actually changes the shooting at all. I think shooting is mainly dependent on sight and not even as much on manipulation, right? If I'm not mistaken. Is anyone mining in this colony? Not really. Huh. Interesting. Chef Boyardee is working on construction. Okay, Chef Boyardee just has too many jobs. I, I always find that some colonies, there's one colonist who has too many jobs and it just kind of hurts the whole place because most of the other colonists are just useless or can do one thing. Like if somebody's good at art or animals, it's useful, don't get me wrong, but in the long run, it's just uh, too much to think about. Let's put more of these in here and... How is this room doing now? Very impressive. The colander. I forgot that we called this room the colander. The secret combat. Ah, oh, this is the one about the artifact. We could go search for Albante. I feel like this is going to be a great way to start the next one. So I don't know if I should hold off on it. I'll get the info about Albante. I'm definitely going to accept it, but is there a certain amount of time? Let's just accept it. Come to the ancient complex. Okay, it's quite nearby. This might count as a raid. I don't know. I think we're in pretty good condition. The one thing with these uh, with these missions is that there's a lot of explosions. You could lose somebody. And there's often like booby traps in a raid at the end. So that's a fear. Why not just carve out a 6x6 six six room and fill it with bodies? Usually attracts them and you bring them. Uh, that's generally what I'll end up doing in the end. But I couldn't remember, is it whether the room is wealthy? Does wealth, the wealth of the room affect the chance of infestation as well? I was trying to remember this. It's definitely a warm place though. If you can afford to make your colony really cold underneath a mountain and just have everything go fine with that, that's also a good way to prevent an infestation, I believe. Go Frenzy on, oh nice, okay. I don't know if I'll do the raid now then if she's on a Go Frenzy. I might wait for one more colonist before we start sending people out. Only because I like having a few colonists at the base, or two very productive colonists who can take over in case if, you know, things go south. Now, uh, what is... There we go. We did miss some of these other grow zones, so let's do that. Maybe send out three to four of them. It's also good to send out only your most stable colonists, because if, if, what if one of them breaks when they're out? Then they can't get back. I think we had that happen the last time, and we just 
lost an absurd number of colonists out of nowhere. Uh, they do spend time in this room, so I want to make it kind of nice. They are tracking more dirt in there. And you clean the trash. Maybe it isn't a good idea to have these two things happening in the same room, but I'm... If it makes that much of a difference. He kind of reminds me of somebody out of A Clockwork Orange with this mask. It's freaking me out a bit. Shooting accuracy does scale with manipulation, but slight, but sight is more important. Yeah. Much as I thought. Much as I thought. Thank you for confirming me on that. I appreciate that. One sec. There's a dev option to see infestation probability. Oh, I did not know that there is one. How do you do that? What do you do to check the infestation probability? I've never seen that tool before. That's very interesting. Yeah, ultra, ultra violence. Oh, God. Vidi, vidi well, oh, my brothers. There were my three droogs, Alex and... Who was that written by again? It's a really good book. I, I enjoyed that. Hmm. Nadsat. And it was based half on Russian and half on English. There we go. Ah, uh, you are doing the construction on it. Okay, I was worried that there was something off with the mods. That's nice to see them automatically smoothing. All right, never mind. Let me just double check that. I'm going to go into the dev mode for a second. Infestation. How do you see infestation chance? Debug actions, view settings, view tweak values, debug log, debug menu, quick start settings, god mode. Hmm. Third I come from the left settings. Infest only because I've never seen this before. Draw infestation chance. Ooh. I mean, the game slows or like stutters. Hang on a second, let me just save in case if I, here we go. Uh, what number are we on? Four. Saltius of semen number four. Okay, so wow. Okay, this is a super interesting way to look. I'm gonna overlay rock roof areas and can we still see it? Ah, oh, that is like flickering. So we got a rock roof there and we got a, uh, so we have a slight chance of it here. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to turn that off because it's causing the game to go crazy, but that is super interesting. I didn't even know that that tool existed. Wow, thank you. You learn something new every day. Appreciate that, Renatol. And Kan Kan Yenke. No, I stream it on Twitch. Love the. Hey, thanks very much for coming out. Yeah, I mean, uh, well, yeah, let's do that. Let's build our corpse pile. So I'll show you how I normally do that. So we're just going to shift this building to the inside. So if we do this. Now, normally I like to do a... Let me turn off dev mode. There we go. So if we do orders mine. And let's build something like deep under a mountain. I think the deeper you go, the, the higher the chance it is. Uh, where would I want this to happen? I don't really want them to destroy our bedrooms. You want somewhere that you can stack up three colonists against them. So I'm going to kind of draw this out. I'm going to go way back into the mountain. And we'll just make it like a single wide hallway. It doesn't really matter, does it? Well, what I want is this. Too wide for that. We could do more bedrooms along there if we want. Let's make it really long. And then... If we do like, we want to be able to stack up a lot of shooters behind it. So if we make it like six by six, so that way we could have a lot of people focusing fire in here. And then we do one tile, two tiles, maybe even three. And then we do a big room back here. I'm going to make sure I don't do too many extra ones. Let me just see. This is... We put three colonists here, a door here. Ah, trying to think of how we do it. We might not even need that. We might just be able to do that and that would be all right. So colonists can stand in here and shoot behind three people who stand here, but we want a double wall because we don't want them to move through either. So yeah, we will keep that. Hopefully the bugs spawn in here and we make this into a corpse room. You forbid this door and then, okay, this, this could work. I can see that happening. 
I believe that is kind of like a long-term order for them. Uh, I don't think it's going to happen for a while, but it's definitely going to happen at some point. So, Build it in a way so that you can easily set it on fire if an infestation... Yeah, being able to set it on fire, like put in a Molotov as well, is helpful. Um, generally speaking, multiple doorways. In fact, let's do... Let's be extra conservative and do like that. So this is this is all going to be part of the hallway, and then there will be doors here. Caribou meat has rotted away in storage. Uh oh, is that good? Oh, that was in the kitchen. All right, that was going to happen from time to time. I accept it. How is this rec room now? Extremely impressive. All right, so our colony has pretty much made it past the early game. Our colonists are now no longer. Uh, no longer really in much danger of a mood break. We have another colonist, and we're looking for more colonists at this point in time. We're starting to solve other problems, and we've got a relic to look out for. Still a little bit scared of uh, some of the threats that might come, but I'm going to go ahead and start to deconstruct a couple of these walls that they can get through there. Um, and just get this construction done a little bit faster. I think another thing that I'm going to do is I'm not worried about food. I mean, we had so much food for that last trade, so let's just give them another pathway to walk through. And we'll do maybe concrete along here, because it's not great soil, so that's fine. Flirting Frenzy. That's not good. Uh, you are... I thought you were happily married. Never mind, never mind. All right, let the flirting begin. <laughs> ah... I think it's good. I'm trying to think of what would be the, the first thing that would kill me. What would kill me first? Let's get this. You do that. You do that. You do that. I'm just going to take care of a few pet peeves right in a row. As things that have been bothering me for a long time. We'll do that and that. And then you will smooth this wall, Jay. There we go. Okay, good. And do that. And there and there. Good. All right, just one or two walls left is smooth, and then we're finally done with this lighting, the infirmary. I still stand by that being the infirmary area because it was just such an important area to have as the infirmary, you know? Needs. Oh, we would need steel at this point. What an absolute waste. Man, that makes me feel really bad. Uh, how many days in-game has it been since we started? Uh, well, we were in what? The year 5500 when we started? Now we're in 5501. I think it's been... Oh, we just got to go to history. It's been uh, about a year in-game. We started in September. So 60 days in Rimworld is one year. Our wealth has come along, but we had a lot of setbacks, I think. This was certainly not the easiest colony to grow by any means, but you know, I'm happy we did it without any... Uh, any, uh, like, divine intervention or, uh, you know, uh, having to get bailed out in the economy or anything like that. Yeah, I'd say we did pretty good. We got more steel there. Hmm. But this colony needs, needs some, like, love now. It needs somebody else to come along to really expand, you know, like, expand in all caps. We need, like, glowing, glowing, expanding letters. That, that would really improve this place. It's it's now like it's done. It's it's safe. But what does it need next? The feast has finished. I never thought my colonists would be in such a good mood either. I thought that would never end. Toxic fallout, exactly what we needed. Actually, not such a bad thing. May I? Um, I know a lot of people think toxic fallout like, oh, toxic fallout. No, that's bad. Toxic fallout isn't actually that bad. You just build roofs over everything that your colonists are normally standing in. Uh, well, you kind of got to take them away later on because otherwise they'll go crazy from being underground and stuff like that. But, you know, if they spend a little bit of time out there, it's fine. We got to keep an eye on Slinging Slasher because he is the planter and he'll start to get toxic buildup. And he can die from that, but let's just watch and see if he gets any of it built up on him from being out there for a little while. Uh, did the plants die from this again? I can't honestly remember. Come on, stop tending the fields and live. 
That would be most appreciated. Toxic Fallout is the game's stop having fun button. Yeah, I mean, it's always neat to watch the green come over the whole colony. But uh, the way I respond is just kind of like, keep doing what you were doing, but just build roofs over everything. It's not bad. The, the one thing is if you forget that you were having a to I forgot that we were having a toxic fallout at the end and uh, roofs fall on you if you get mortared or something like that or supports get taken out. But it's not a bad practice to have a couple of these things available throughout your colony. Okay, now we do have the initial toxic buildup. Slinging Slasher, we might just keep off of planting for a little while. There we go. Like, mine instead. I'd like that. And... Um, somebody's going to end up going out to that steel that I just designated, so I'm going to cancel all of that. I don't want them to die of that. Just all of the stupid things that they could die of with toxic buildup. Um, just keep an eye on people. Good, nobody's out in it. And it's not like, I mean, having toxic buildup doesn't mean that they're going to die necessarily. Where is, uh, where is Slinging Slasher? I don't know if it has like longer term health consequences, but it just kind of dissipates over time. See, it's going down to 6, 5.9. So it does go away, but you just want to keep them inside for that time. Okay, why are we going out monitoring them? Okay, to build that. Hauling, yeah, things from nearby the base. You just want to prevent them from getting too far away. And as Chef Boyardee builds roofs, it gets safer and safer as we go. Are you building up toxic? Not really, because you're staying under the roof as you build. See, that's what we want to do. Dan, good job. And we could just get done with a lot of things here, like cleaning. It kind of causes them to do a better job on the inside of the base itself. Maybe a little bit of a wall expansion, but also maybe not, you know? Maybe we will just save that. Uh, in fact, in fact, no, don't do that right now. Reinstall that there. I changed my mind on all that. Okay, good. So they'll stay inside and I'm even gonna just make a new zone. Sometimes this is a good idea. Let's just make another one because I have a tendency to do pretty stupid stuff with this. Let's go ahead and make a new area here. And just give them one area for toxic fallout in case of it should happen. And that way, if you get a toxic fallout again later on, you, you know, you don't question why is everybody dying. Let's do that and that. And in there they can go. And they could spend a little bit of time out here, but not too much. So we'll put that as part of their designated area. And they could even go over here. Yes, even there. That's right. And over there, but I don't want you in the fields. Okay, we haven't created anything obviously stupid, so let's tell them that, and they can stay in area one. And we're gonna go ahead and call this uh, toxic. Or safe toxic. Safe from toxic area? Whatever it is. It's there now, and they're all in it. And we've assigned them all to it, good. Uh, as far as animals go, there are none, so we're fine. Ah, uh, it does kill plants. Ah, uh, then I stand corrected. Growth rate, 119%. Is it good for these, for certain plants? Is it like the corn in seven days to die? Regarding what it might kill you, I'd personally build the walls on the east side, three to four thick to encourage them to go around the... Yeah, that's a good idea too. Um... I'm not sure if it, they do that, though. Like, usually if there's an opening, they'll just go to it. But sometimes you get wacky stuff, and yeah, three three wide does help. But it's a good idea. It might save us from tears later on. Uh, now, I, I do like Toxic Fallout, though, because it's kind of like a miniature pandemic for the whole colony. You know, like, everybody kind of has to stay indoors. And they, uh, they spend dime... Like tidying the inside and making it look nice. So it can be a good way to care for your home. Care for your home during the toxic fallout. Kind of like what we expected to happen during the Cold War, I suppose. But that was then and this is now. And we're still doing it <laughs> in some way or another. Uh, <laughs> funny how that happens. 
think this place is great. Okay, I, you know, I kind of admire it. It's like, it's beautiful and terrible in the... And I really want the ink spots to play, you know, from Fallout. That would, uh... That would make me feel better. Uh, the, the plants, yes, the plants will die. Well, do they? They aren't taking any health loss. No, I'm not sure if they do. What is the indication that they do that? Well, they don't have the light level. They don't have the growth rate, so they clearly don't grow. But they don't physically take damage. I mean, in the cold, it takes points off of their hit points. Maybe we'll be like superhumans when we eat all of this irradiated corn, you know? Yeah, the turkeys wouldn't have been doing too well from this either. You do need to make your farming situation much more robust to this stuff. Building uh, the ice sheet colony was probably the best way to learn this game. Honestly, like, because everything is self-sufficient. Once the ice colony is done, or ice sheet colony, or what is it, sea ice. Sea ice colonies could just be plopped down anywhere on the map and you'll be fine. See, like, the way that they're building right now, everything is becoming self-sufficient and inside. Even with stuff like hydroponics and sun lamps that could be done inside. The only event that really destroys a colony like that is the solar flare, but it's so infrequent that it... You know, it takes it out for only a couple minutes. If you get a solar flare and then you get raided and you get five other things happen, then you're in trouble. Uh, I'm not going to try the, out the Gurenlin tree right now, but maybe for later on. It's so beautiful. Hmm. And what if they just end up only telling corny jokes? <laughs> oh, 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 that's a zinger. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that was so good. I like that a lot. We could mine to the steel from the other side, but that might be a bit much. Okay, uh, other stuff that we could have done would have been electric smelter. Again, we don't have the steel. We just need to get out to that steel again. Nah, we'll be fine. Good, they're doing the smoothing. Ah, yes, they're going to actually take some care of themselves now. Ah, there we are. All right, um, where are we at now? Oh, we've been playing for about nearly three hours. I'd say that our colony is pretty much self-sufficient now. I think I'm just going to set up a couple of other specialized uh, resource storage zones. And then we'll probably head off for a bit. Uh, but I am going to raid somebody else, so stick around for that. Um, one thing I might do is try to connect these two so that I could get the medicine into the infirmary faster. But mostly just minor stuff to iron out. The colony has come a long way. Uh, I'll explain really quick just for anybody who's joining us. The way that this colony is set up is keep the entrance safe. Wanderer joins John. Willing to contribute, but he will not leave voluntarily. Claim to have nowhere else to... I really don't want another colonist that I don't know what they look like. Because uh, I'm just going to postpone that. Maybe I'll save it for the next time. I'll save before in case if I change my mind. But it goes security fields on the outside because they're not really... They can always be replanted. Hallways, butcher area and kitchen, as well as a refrigerator so they can quickly move the food supply in. I might have to revise this a little bit and get faster access to the fridge. But it's not so far apart, which is the point. Uh, stockpile zones, workshop next to it. Then dining room and rec room, followed by bedrooms, which can be on the periphery. And then the... Research room can be on the periphery too. So, like a pretty well set up colony. There's obviously a few other different types of threats that we need to be careful with. Um, thanks everybody for coming out. Again, I'm just going to shout out Oscar Pataki right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and link his Kickstarter. That's going to be in the main first video of this VOD series, uh, which will be going up to YouTube on the VOD channel. Um, other stuff. Uh, he's working on a game called Cursed Crew, and he's responsible for most of the mods that are being used in this. I haven't really gotten to the modded part yet, because I've just kind of been playing the base game. But we're going to go ahead and check out more of the vanilla expanded stuff as we go through. And uh, just an awesome guy all around, uh, who everything he touches turns to gold, and just a really good dude. Um, and I, uh, I'm hoping you guys will uh, check out his Kickstarter.